Guys, I just tweeted that. Dictated. We are actually live now. Let me put the old Metal Gear red exclamation point. You know the one, the one that goes. Just like that, baby. Hey, hey, welcome back. Who's ready for a little story time with Brian and Garrett? Oh, yes. We made it back. We we were stranded in uh, cyberspace. We couldn't it was get it. awful. We, I fucking hate being stranded in cyberspace, what are we, man. What are you going to do? Woo! Let me make sure everything's sent. Everything's good. Did I actively retweet? I'm going to check the account. Uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on. It, our accounts weren't authenticating. It was weird. We would go it was live and in then the wrong it, browser. it wouldn't like fucking show us that we were live and then you're looking on your phone and we were. What if we said all kinds of heinous shit then? You know, you never know. Never do. Uh, we never do. That's right. Not but in this room. But for you, the IRL chat... Why? That doesn't make sense if I point there. I gotta get closer. The oh. IRL chat is I'm jerking you off, Brian. <laughs> the IRL chat. <laughs> Scar. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. There you go. There goes. I'm getting horny now. Just thinking about it. I dropped my phone. Did it? Did it send though? Uh, the IRL chat is. Send in, it. It's in the room. I'm checking it out right now. Uh, thank you, Doctor Butthugger. Thank you, Buzz McFly. Mike. Of the Beast, Kaito Kid Shadow, all of that apply. You know, you're here, you love it. And you I love, sure do love it. I love you. And I love you, Brian. Hey, how's oh. it going? Hey, we haven't done this in a while. Welcome, every one of you, to the Poorly Played Stream yeah. number... 526. With me, as oh, yeah. always, is my favorite King Lord, Abu Chakra. Hello, Brian. Yo, what's up, dude? Hello, Hello. Thanks. Let's start the show. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Let's start the show. Uh, we uh, we got the tweet out. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't remember? Uh, you no. don't remember the good old days? I, I, we haven't heard that one in a long, it's, a it, long time. A very long time. But that's all right. Hey, evil dude. Thank you for the uh, donation there. Yeah. Look at that. Fucking hot dollar coming in fast. Fucking Boom. Hype chat. Hit us with the bits. You know, we'll do whatever we can. Um, but our boys are here. For one reason and one reason only. And that reason, do you know what it is, Brian? Uh, it ain't about the cat. I think it's Metal Gear. It's about getting that dog, baby. Oh. We need to get the damn dog. Uh, I've been playing this game dog. 
for a couple... How many months have we been playing on the stream now? Uh, at least two months. We are on to mission 20, Voices. Okay. Last week was mission 18, and I gotta tell you, these missions are long ones. Last fucking show was three hours, and we only did mission 18. Yeah, that's a long mission. This is another big, long mission. Gamers rise up. Uh, This is our first encounter with the uh, boss fight. Well, uh, second, if you count the hospital where you meet the man on fire. Oh, yeah. But we're going to our first, like, mission for you, boss. The man on fire boss fight. What's Kaz saying? The kids, people often disappear from the mine to a place called oh, the mine. Zoya He's giving me more info on that mine. Okay, good good, it's good to hear. Do I need a shower? Yeah, definitely could use a shower. Oh, yeah. Snake looks kind of dirty. Mission details. Whoa, ho. I want to smoke. You make me want to smoke. Oh, fuck. Let's check out how long this lasts. Here's what we can do on this next mission. We gotta rescue some kid. Can we just fucking run in all stealth camo? Just not get an A rank? And, like, yeah. be done with it? Like, we're not here for good ranks. We're here for... I wouldn't give a fuck about ranks. We're here for, uh, you know... Uh, well, the dog. One. Uh, yeah. yeah. Two, it's not a cat. But we're also here for, you know, just to get the job done and move on. By the end of October, we have... Yeah, the 25th will be our last day. God damn. Isn't that wild? 25th. We've been playing for a while. And yes. We're going to be playing for a while more. Whoa! Oh. Alright. I like, you know, the night time. It's the right time. Well, fuck, dude. Stop smoking. Oh, my God. Put it away. I don't know how. Left. On the D-pad. <laughs> This would always happen to me in the game too. It'd be like, I would you just use have it, to tap it right? way too long. I don't know. I wanted it to be night, and now it's fucking just the next day. <laughs> Do it again. I fucked that up. Pervert. Okay, hold on. Pervert. Yeah, you just gotta tap There's the D pad. Well, that's what I'm looking for. What the fuck? Christ, Brian. Knocking shit over everywhere I go. Hello, Suzanne. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hi, guys. Yep. You stay here. Let's see. I don't want you guys to see me being a bad, uh, bad, uh, 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 role model. A bad boss. Okay. Nighttime. Clicked it in again. Tap it. Oh. Tap fuck. Up. Fuck. Oh, just go to something else. Oh, just tap left. You're right. Okay. 10:48 p.m. There on the third go. try, I got it, and I got it right. Oh, hello. You can also choose. What you time guys are on the. Deploy. They're on the other side Boss. of me now. Yeah, they woke up. They back around. Their lives. Yeah, just go they, back to bed. They were really concerned with you. You're just standing in one spot for eight smoking. hours, smoking a cigar, really slow. <sighs> yeah, what's in that vape, dude? Is that live resin? I hate to ask. It's back out. I keep almost checkpointing myself. Okay, we're gonna call a helicopter. While we wait for it to pick us up, because it's not that fast yet. We're going to check on some development items that must have been made. Oh, now we're still making stuff. What else can we got money, though, to make some more? Anything with silencers? Bait bottle. We don't want that shit. Anything we would use here? Maybe the Reznov. Fuck yeah. Let's do that. Oh, my ride's here. I do love AKs, but this thing looks fucking cool. I don't really fuck with submachine guns. It does have a silencer. That's always nice. Yeah, buddy equipment, anything new? Uh, we're still making that. Helicopter, probably not. Back out. Back out. Let me just real quick look at it. Base facilities, yes. Combat means more men. We love more men. We do. Wait, what did it say? Can't do it. Network. Oh, give me a network error, but now we can. Spending a lot of money here at Mother Base today, boys. Uh, that's enough for now. We'll do the rest in the AAC once we're up in the air. I think Quiet is our buddy from the last mission, so maybe she'll come automatically with us. I think so. Like when or wait, when we jump in? Maybe not. When we did voices, I think we took D. Or when we did uh, mission 18. Uh, I think we did D Dog. Or D -walker. fucking D-Walker. We gotta get that damn dog. That's why they call him D-Dog, that damn dog. Yes. Alright, so we're starting a half hour late with all that technical bullshit, right? 
think so. Technical difficulties. Yeah, about a half hour. About a half hour late, but we're on the road. We're running. Brian's having a nice sip of coffee. Yes, sir. We all got that coffee in us. Get the coffee in you. I got uh. that dragon in me. Get the dragon in you. Uh. Full of beans. Beans ground to a fine lie paste. Uh. A fine lying paste. It lies fine at the top when you pour the... You'll, it's coffee etiquette. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, we were talking about maybe staying late, working on Horace Horse Caller's hardcore song. Yeah. I know our homie, Earth Crisis Actor, is dropping a bass line on that thing. We got the bonus. We got, we got challenge uh, tasks. To What did we get? Two trucks. Fucking 200k. Some uh, roses. A desert rose. Uh, so yeah, we might stay late tonight. Work on that. I don't know. I haven't. I mean, we might go late. It might be too late. <laughs> well, that was the original plan. Started yeah. a half hour late, so yeah, it's all kind of downhill from here. We'll see. I've been busier than a two-tailed cat in a room full of motorcycles. I tell you what. I got one of those uh, "Don't Look a Gift Horse in the Mouth" sayings that I've never heard, but it's common. No, I just said. I was I was like purposefully trying to comedically fuck it up it's you're more i think it's you're more nervous than a it's something uh, it's not busy it's uh, not busy it's more the analogy is like cat in a motorcycle shop no no no, no in a room full of rocking chairs in a room full of rocking chairs <laughs> but i'm just fucking around and i'm i'm as busy uh, as a two-tailed ocelot in a room full of indian go. motorcycles yeah. I, there i made it metal gear three themed yeah <laughs> like that busier than a dumb hey, beetle in the hey. shit what the fuck? That's good, dude. I like that. I just that. made that one up. I like that. Uh, I mean, lots to talk about. <laughs> Saturday, 64X. Yes. We could recap that. Dude. We went and Sunday did our live hometown show in Escondido, which is high San Diego County. Oh, nice, yeah. beautiful theater, beautiful part of town. Very nice fucking part of town, actually. Downtown fucking city pays for parking. Like, yeah. no meters, it's just, hey, there's like well, there's nobody in 15 parking lots that are all, like, free public parking lot for our business district. Yeah. How beautiful is that? I what suppose a, trying to be the new El Cajon. Hey. Good, good community. Did they get rid of all the, 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 the paid meters in El Cajon? That's no, good. No, oh, just yeah. uh, um, in El Cajon, like, you remember how it used to be, like, kind of the sticks? Yeah. And, the, like, Main Street and all of that. Then they turned around, like, five, six years ago. I always liked ago. Escondido. Yeah, so did I. But, like, I think, you know, it wasn't really, like, developed for a while. And sure, some yeah, call yeah. call that, yeah. you know, not cool. But I call that uh, it ain't. property value rising in the yeah. next ten years instead of the there next five. There you go, man. There you go. Hey, we need to redistribute, as I can see, some yellow numbers there. We had some missing guys. But, yeah, so 64X, that was Saturday. That was Saturday. You got a whole brand new Nirvana the Band the Show episode. I can't fucking believe it. Dude, whole content ice worth of an episode kind of sprinkled throughout 64X. Yeah. We had announcements. We had some great uh, collaboration with those dudes. Also, Jay Weidengarten, uh, which I'm finding out now it wasn't George Carlin. It was Jay Weidengarten. Oh. What? Two Eric's what the fucking. I know, right? Hilarious stuff. Man. <laughs> Silent Rave, which I couldn't get enough of, man. I was on the black headphones. I had my own kind of goth channel going. Sure. I don't know what Derek was listening to. You had orange ones, I think. I did? <laughs> Derek. Derek oh, did, oh. Yeah, yeah. Were you at the Silent Rave, too, at home? I might have been. Yeah, I got you. I hear you. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, 64X was a blast. I know a lot of you guys were there, and I'm sorry again about, you know, all the Deadpool staff or any of the... Uh, well, yeah. That's... Problems with food or, you know, I, be I believe there was some groping. I think some people got sadly groped. Yeah, right. I, I heard of an unwanted glomping. Yeah. So. It happens, and it can happen it to you. It, it, yeah, it definitely could, so watch out. Um, um, couldn't take a shit the whole weekend. So that no, was no. The, well, Sean's toilet overflowed, and then yeah. Mitch's house was off limits, and yeah. there was a... Um, the whole cul-de-sac was kind of, I'm going to tell you what, run down. I mean, that's... If we would have done it up in fucking Escondido, <laughs> it would have been way better. <laughs> yeah, we were in El Cajon, Brother. so that's well, that's a, probably the problem. Um, yeah. All right, combat deployment. Fuck no. Mission list. What's new, dog? Voices number twenty. Hey, here's what I want to ask the chat, real quick. Back to sixty four X later. Yeah. We want to find this dog, right? We got him like the third week we played. I swear we picked him up. Yeah. Took him home. Sent him back to Ocelot for training. But every time we get back to Mother Base, we don't get that. 
the cutscene where cut he, scene. yeah, he greets Maybe us. Maybe we're not going back to Mother Base before we take another. Maybe it's like we only go back to Mother Base after missions. You have to go back. Like, what if we go back right now? Uh. I don't know. Maybe we've only completed a mission, gone back to Mother Base, and it's yeah, not like... Yeah, so exfiltrate back to Mother Base. Let's try Return that. To Mother Base, Return that to Mother Base. I think that's been what it is. Let's see if this works. Let's because see. they should be mature by now. I mean, it's very... We got D Walker. We got Quiet. We're almost at a full uh, relationship with her, too. Like, mm -hmm. I want the dog. Give me the dog. What the fuck? I've been posting... I've, dude, I see, got... Here it is. Here it is. You fucking bet, baby! Hey, God. Oh my God, we did it, Brian! This is no, this ain't it. Fuck. This is George. Oh, this is. Pervert. No, it might be it. We're good. Come on. No, I think we've seen ones like this. We've seen. There's different training ones, which I love. The I more, love that pistol. More time with my men, you know, the better. Um, 50 caliber, or is that a 45? I don't know what that thing. I forget what that one was called. It ricochets though. Boss. Look at my team, the special Boss. chicks. Boss. What's up? <laughs> I'm the most special chick here. Maybe we got some new emblems. We can make an even weirder uh, logo for our team of Mother Basemen. Boss, you're the leader of the pack. Folks start worrying when you're gone too long. Yeah, make sure you come home and fucking do some target practice. There isn't like side ops we have to do to unlock it. Does the chat, Vector? I see you're in there. Oh, How's yes. it going, Vector? Uh, if anyone knows, did anyone say, yeah, I know, you're not doing this to get the dog, you dope? Uh, no, everybody agreed with us that we should add him already. Right? So, did we miss him? Do we go back to mission two and just, like, wait outside and pick his ass up? Oh, I think we got him. I think we just have a list of, like, I think if you even call your helicopter, leave and come back again. What if I go work. to the observatory? Is he at the animal observatory? Good. Should we, should we just jet over there real quick? Why not? Fuck yeah, let's check out the observatory. We'll get to the, you know... I think you have to... Uh, I have to wait till he goes. All the way away. No, it's right there. Helicopter pickup. Yeah, there you go. Please say landing zone. I didn't see her. He's doing a full circle. Pequod's really, uh... Really getting after it. I'm pretty sure we Fulton the dog at the beginning. Because I remember... I'll go back and out. watch. Yeah, and we didn't die after that. Even if we did, it would have checkpointed us. Maybe it didn't. I know, no. We're gonna try it though. We're gonna try to get the dog, and then we're gonna get to mission twenty. Voices. I hear some voices in my head. I'm here. I'm hearing some skipping frames right there. In my X split. What's up with that? I heard some skipping. You hear that? Yeah. What is that? It's that fucking program here is giving me some problems. We should talk quickly because I have been uh, talking about where is the support platform, base development. Medical combat. Animal conservation. Here we go. Here we go. We got birds. We got, uh, let's just go to the center one. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I've been talking about upgrades on the PPS uh, for a while. We looked at what the computer's specs were, and they weren't the best. I'm telling you. You know, I built this thing a long time ago, kind of when we moved into this office. Yeah. I upgraded it with a video card eventually, but, I mean, we're still running... I'm not fucking sure. I think it's 16 gigs of RAM. I think we were running two 8 gig sticks of RAM currently, right now. Yeah. That's probably not the best for streaming with no. three fucking monitors. It's ingesting almost full screen 1080p video. Um, boom, baby. I spent about a hundred bucks here. Look at that. I got DDR4. 64 fucking gigs, baby. We're gonna be flush with virtual memory. We're gonna have so much fucking DDR4 RAM. He's not gonna. We're replacing two 8 gig sticks with two 32 gig sticks. Boom. That's already gonna give us a little boost. I looked into my motherboard's capabilities. Sadly, we are maxed out. We have an i7 7700 something series uh, Intel processor. It's a quad core. But that's the best this fucking lap uh, or this uh, motherboard can handle. So if we go. After this week, try with the new memory. We're still having weird problems. There's the one thing it was like, ah, uh, they couldn't smooth out the shadow. See how it's like a ticking of a fucking watch? Yeah, that's how it always been. That's the sun moving across the sky at a mathematical increment. It's like digital and it's not analog like moving 
slowly, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, probably saves resources. I don't know why they do that. Even on PS5 in the definitive vision, it, it does that. Probably not worth fixing. Either. Probably because you're standing. You're. They assume you're not gonna be standing still for that long. So while you're moving, you don't notice it. But as you're standing there, you can see it. As the real world sun yeah. moves throughout tick. the sky. Tick. Okay, I'm not seeing a fucking dog anywhere here, dog. I don't know about you. Um, let's just go. Let's go for the. Let's go for the mission, and maybe after we get back, we'll see D-Dog. Yeah, right landing here. Zone Come on back. Uh, down the road. Maybe we'll get a new motherboard, new CPU. I know you're dealing with, like, CPU nightmares, right, no, Brian? No, man, I'm dealing with fucking Amazon nightmares. That's like the... Your, your, your stream knows about this. You stream, yeah. if you don't know, KLBR and Big Dog. Yeah. And you uh, were using some of your... Earnings to buy and upgrade the stream yeah, CPU. Yeah, on 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 my show. Uh, if you guys ever want to come check it out, I do a Thursday night show as well. Uh, that'll be tomorrow. But um, come on by, same time as the PBS. Uh, we funded a new PC, got all of the money for it uh, over the last summer, basically. And you have all the parts. I have all the parts, including the box for the processor, but no processor inside the box. The box, is which was shipped with with. Uh, RAM and the uh, two terabyte memory stick. Uh, no, and the um, so they fucked up. The warehouse the sent warehouse you an fucked empty up. package. Yeah, it was broken. Factory seal was broken, uh, and then uh, no processor inside of it. Literally the one piece. The CPU that you need to fucking the processor. The one piece that you need to make the fucking computer a computer. And it's like the most expensive one too. Uh, more than a yeah. motherboard, more than memory. Yeah, is, CPUs yeah. and GPUs are the pricey. Yeah. So so it's either that or the GPU, right? I'm, gonna, that, I'm just gonna bounce back came, to mother base. No real problem. Quick. I have a 460 waiting to be installed. Fucking into this Please great new alarm. PC that I'm gonna make. But I have to now go through the process of Yo, that filing sucks. a police report. Because Amazon be is making because, you yeah. file, uh, that's because the value is so high. The value of that item, I think, is high enough, and they don't want to take the hit. No. They want to make insurance pay oh, for it. Oh, that's so, right, because if there's a police report, then they can file it. They can file it insurance as an insurance will cover them. claim. Yep. So, as a result, up, bro. we've had all the parts for almost a month, but I have not been able to install them. That's a sad. I showed it off on the show today. It's like there, here is. I've only had this for a day, and I haven't had time to install it. I'm, I'm bumming. I couldn't deal with sitting here for a month without. It. You know, over the years we've upgraded this PC. You know, Rocco even at the beginning of this year gave me two terabytes of that yeah. that M22 solid state. Yeah. Uh, that was like, you know, hey, we're we're upgrading our PC that we don't use this anymore. I was like, I'll fucking take her. That helped me. So so much with editing and storing video now. Um, that GPU, like I said, we got a couple years after I had the PC. Yeah, no cutscene, bro. Nada. Will he fly off again? Maybe. No, I think I have to call him again. Fuck. Please We're just toying with Pequod at this point. He's All right. Getting, the he's dog was not acquired according to that. How? How? He went know. back and watched? Either them or Evil Dude have been uh, been scanning and they're they're saying we didn't get them. Did we find the dog? And I know we found D Dog because we heard him barking. Yeah. At the beginning of level two. That's the thing. Or I remember, three. Which I, one? I think it's level two that you get them. It's right. I remember we landed. Right at the beginning. Like, the landing zone. I remember hearing a dog barking. I'm like, is that a fucking dog? We're gonna and go we do this. Him up. We're gonna but go back. Maybe we just have to replay, and then we'll fucking do it. Sometimes. There are things that just get hung up. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, yeah, just, go, just go into that mission again and, and it'll, bloop, it'll happen for you. Um, that's weird. Because I, I have a distinct memory of us finding the dog. But I was even saying to you, like, I can't remember if we fought them, though. I thought we Why did. wouldn't we? I thought we did. I thought you shot him. Unless the something happened, like, uh, what I'm thinking is it was something that happened, like, it was the first time we got Fulton. It didn't have the upgrade to get the dog yet or something like that. I don't we know. might have died and it didn't save. Like maybe, that's what, That was maybe the one was thing. That. Vector said that. I said that before. That sounds reasonable, Vec. But like, it, yeah. What the fuck? I'm with you there. I hope everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. Now, ha, 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 let's go to mission list. Please it was two mission. or three. 
Flashback. Di it's probably Diamond Dogs. Complete the Fulton Extraction Train. Oh, now wait. Somebody's saying seven? A hero's away. Red Brass? This is, uh, you find the dog in Afghanistan or Africa? Afghanistan, I thought. Yeah. But Nomad saying the guide I saw said you can replay Mission 7. A Hero's Way or Red Brass? Replay 3, 4, or 5 and look around is what Evil Dude just saying. 4, 5. Well, 3's on the command platform. 2's on the platform. Hero's Way. I believe it was this one. And we only have one mission task, so let's get the others. Yeah, it says that it works for all of them, so. Get a Spetsnaz Commander. Okay. Neutralize the Spetsnaz Commander from a long distance and secure the process materials. Now we can actually do that. Alright, we're redoing accepted. old missions, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, where do you think we'll hear the dog best? Probably up on this hill. Heading to Afghanistan. We're gonna listen with our ears. We're going to slow down. This, you know what we're not gonna bring is D-Walker around. You know, because he'll probably scare him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> could. Uh... It could happen. It, it could happen. It could happen to you. It could scare him, and you could be totally gone. Yeah, no. Let's do no buddies. So then the dog will just be like, "Oh, you need a buddy? Here, I'll come to you." Um. Yeah. What we got's good. I don't think we need anything else. Let's go in. What time do dogs like to be out? Well, he's a wolf dog, so he's probably hunting at night, right? Yeah, but I, I uh -oh. think I, I think it doesn't matter, right? I I sure hope not. <laughs> I sure hope not. Night right. vision. At night, maybe it'll be easier to see him. And then we'll use the int scope to kind of look around and the directional microphone, maybe we'll hear his whimpers. Sure. You know how the dogs sure. have the dogs have a whimper. That's not a that's a cat. If you look closely at the photos I've been posting of the dogs, I, I was telling you I got the dogs like tactical harnesses instead of regular like dog harnesses. Yeah, of course. And I put diamond dogs and MSF patches on their sides of and course you did. I got fucking Tiny doggle, tiny. I call them doggles because they're goggles for those little dogs that oh, ride on I mean, motorcycles. If you don't know, the word is doggle. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. No, I mean Garrett is absolutely right. The word is it's yeah. not dog goggles. I tried the doggles on the cat. They don't work. They're yeah. not caggles. No, they're uh, not doggles. <laughs> they don't like doggles. It's for dogs. The doggles they tolerate it enough to get the photos, but then they don't really. Junior's so old. If you put them on him and walk ahead of him, he's just worried about catching up to you. He'll kind of leave the doggles on. But yeah, I took all these photos with little Chihuahua dog goggles. And uh, if you notice, though, on the patches, there are our friend of the show, Camp's Tia, Camp's uh, godmother, uh, 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 Alicia, who I play Airsoft with, she made those patches for our Airsoft team. Oh, shit. Our homie Matt, Alicia, a bunch of them. If you look, if you zoom in on them, I'm going to show you right there, Brian. Oh, well, uh, zoom in more. Hold it on. doesn't say Diamond Dogs. It says Diamond Drunks. Ha! And it says Military Sons Sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a... Uh, the dog's got his, like, tongue hanging out, and then their MSF patch has, like, a big, like, pot leaf instead of a skull oh, in the yeah, shadow. Oh, yeah, Diamond Drunks. Look at it. these fucking dogs! <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch-ass dogs. I know, so dude. Cool. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Fuck We're finding dogs. the fucking dogs today, dude. Fuck these cool dogs. Fucking gray and green. Dogs rule. I, I was going to get the tan, but I don't, the desert tan, I don't know. All right, do we hear any? Oh, yeah, let me get any woofs. Let, what if we do our best dog calls to kind of, like, coax him out? Yeah, can you do a whistle? Maybe it'll bring the dog. Uh, Yeah. I do want to say, as we were talking about 64X, to wrap it all up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me knock. Um. It's all available on our Mega64 Archives channel. The full whole day stream is up there in its entirety. And then the clips have been uploaded shortly after. And now yeah. I think we're almost uh, at, at all of them being uploaded individually across the Mega64 podcast. And I'm sorry across Mega64's YouTube channel and the Mega64 Archives YouTube channel. Hell yeah. So check those out <laughs> if you want to find the clips from 64X and watch certain bits. A uh, lot of smoking going on during the uh, the history of 64X panel. That was a cool technical one. Yeah, I'm glad that went well. It's, it, it was really cool to see um, a fucking full-fledged Nirvana, the band, the show Dude. episode. like crazy right like again like i i know and we've talked about them here um in the past or i have um 
because I, I sat and I watched through them and I and then I've seen videos of them talking about Mega sixty four a number of times. Big, yeah, in an interview, a, that's kind of how it got on our radar. Yeah, is like there's an interview where Matt is talking about Mega sixty four and like people sent that that to us and we're like, holy shit, this is mm-hmm. crazy! Like, these guys had a fucking Viceland TV show and they're super funny and of my own heart, Canadians. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, like, the connection was there, and then, uh, you know, it was the homie of the show, Slime. Yeah? Our friend Slime the Garbage Main, as you know, uh, I've collaborated with. Yeah, yeah. He hit me up, and he's like, hey, I'm having Matt out to our video store. He, he works out in Canada at a video store. Right. Walker does. And he put me in contact. I put Rocco and Matt in no contact. And, and then, like, Rocco and Matt started, like, coming up with, you know, Rocco's talked about it, like, not expecting what we got. Multi-angle, no. full no. episodes it, it, worth it, of content. We just wanted, like, a little, like, yeah. cell phone video. No, they, when, when I saw the footage. I don't hear this dog. Uh, start heading towards the objective is what, um. Next just said. Yeah. Um, when I saw the uh, screenshot of Matt standing in front of a billboard that's or a whiteboard that said 64x, <laughs> you're I assumed, like, what? No, no. I just assumed it was a, uh, you know, it, it looked close enough. Like they wrote 69x and and somebody posted it for 64x because it, some sleuth had seen through all of their episodes and I don't know. You know what I mean? Like sure. I really thought it was one of those things where it just happened to line up. And then, yeah, I think I talked to you later about it. Um, and it was the next day at the at the, the tour because I, I didn't get a chance to watch anything from 64X. I was up at uh, up in L.A. And uh, and you're like, no, 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 it's a, it's a thing. Dude, I, it's like, yeah, like sprinkled throughout the show. You got a full... I couldn't believe it. There, I mean, there's a whole block of their segment, but also... Uh, there were announcements throughout the whole show that uh, were covertly being hit. Yeah, and, and like the, the coolest thing about it was like once I clicked in and Rocco has you know posted since on uh, on the YouTube, um, it's one for one. Like they didn't skimp you guys. That's how their bro show their show works. is that format. It's yeah. them and <laughs> the... it is a new episode. It's so of good. Fucking Nirvana the band the show. And I can't wait. It's, I think it's stitched I together. It's like gotta, under 10 minutes. Yeah, I got to get my ass to see that uh, BlackBerry movie they did. Because yes. I wanted to go with Trish while it was in theaters, but it was out so fast. It was only in theaters for like a weekend at my yeah. theater, and I never got a chance. But I know that it's streaming now. And their yeah. whole show is available on archive.org, I think. Yes. I don't know if they want us saying that. Well, but. I think they don't care right now because they don't make any money off of uh, <laughs> right. anything. Uh, well, Viceland's gone, right? Yeah, and, um, and there's no Blu-ray. There's no damn, streaming service. There's there you know, will be. It's it's worth. I mean, fuck it. I might even start airing it on KLBR just to fucking get people to watch it. It's yeah, that, it's do that check good. it out. It's that good. It's the kind of show Analysis that like complete. You will be you'll be laughing so hard at certain parts that you like. You won't believe that this show didn't have more notoriety like you really won't it's that kind of funny i don't i don't mean to hype it up but like every so often a show comes along that really makes me like damn should we do another mission yeah i think so this one's not going is it but yeah it's 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 fucking great it's it's my kind of humor if you like nathan for you if you like anything from the absolutely production company you are yeah. gonna like nirvana the band the show Oh, oh, oh. I remember Eric being a huge mm-hmm. uh, fan of theirs. Pervert. Uh, I remember, well, a huge pervert, too. I remember that. I remember pervert. watching the online stuff with Eric. Really? Like, all their original the online fuck? Nirvana the band. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, when, that's when he showed it to me, too. Yeah, because it was all when I would be over uh, oh, yeah. at his house. All right, your house uh, in his room. We lived together. Yeah. Uh, dude, that was a great time. Got to hang out with Garrett a lot. Arf, arf. Do you hear him? Arf, arf. Where is he? Fucking dog. Alright. Fuck it. Uh. But yeah, so that was awesome. That the was. Fucking, the whole event was awesome. That was awesome. But I just wanted to say, like, how that came about is, like, you know, it's all. Uh, who you know. And, uh, Matt and Slime had worked together, and Slime so put cool. us in contact, and 
Uh, Slime was very generous, and he gave Matt, while he was out there at his video store, he gave him a copy of Revenge Direction. He didn't have 4.1 yet. He hadn't seen it. So I was I was stoked that that, ha that came to fruition as well. Uh, and just uh, the whole fucking thing worked out. Yeah. On a whim. Because yeah. I didn't even, like... I mean, I don't know how much you knew about it or whatever, but you hadn't mentioned anything to me about it. I didn't you... know the. D well, listen. I mean, which we, is no, which is great. No, we were all very hard uh, at work on oh, yeah. getting back from the tour, yeah. prepping 64X as well as like the production on the next in five minutes video that we're, we're we've been talking about that we've been filming. Yeah. So it was really cool. Like for me. I didn't. I had no clue that this was happening. So when I saw it, that was the biggest surprise. Ooh, let's I, use I, the stealth. And I fucking love that. I love that it was like, you know, just this thing that no one would have even, like, everyone would have wanted it to happen. But the fact that it fucking happened and it happened for 64x. Again, VOD is up on YouTube. Everybody should go check it out. And then yeah, like you said, that was all in the midst of also getting ready for fucking a one-off. For uh, a show of the farewell tour here in San Diego. Yeah, that was the next <laughs> day. The next day. Yeah, and uh, can I just say that? Yeah, we were we were definitely like working overtime that weekend. Oh yeah. I think I put in a 12-hour day Saturday, and then Sunday was easily a 14-hour day. Damn. Uh, easily, easily. Oh, excuse me. You're going, you're going to bed. Did I get that mission objective where I had to get that guy out? No, neutralize sure. the Spetsnaz from a long distance. I probably already fucked it up. Can't but go yeah. look at him? Intel radio. No. Shout out to anybody. I was out there, uh, but shout out to anybody who was at the tour. Yeah, did you get uh, any Mega 60 Farians? Anyone watching the PPS come say hi? Uh, I mean, a couple of people... That you already knew. Like, well, no. We saw uh, Jordan, we saw the homie Jordan Jones yeah, is mean, out like, there. I knew Jordan was coming. Um, I mean, Christian. There were, there uh, were EAS, people. another collaborator musically. Oh, I didn't see him. Uh, EAS cool. sat. I looked at the photo because I take a photo on stage from yeah. the live shows. Sat right uh, on the other side of my brother-in-law. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I have a really funny co <laughs> story also. <laughs> that uh, oh man, I haven't posted it yet, but I have a photo. Oh, it'd be funny if I could show it. You could bring it up, but I haven't posted it yet. But anyway, I have a photo, like I said, from the stage. Yeah. Where, you know, every night I take a photo of my gear and everyone in the audience of the live shows. Hopefully, I, I don't forget. Sometimes I do. But, um, you know, this show plays out where there's some stuff, you know, we were all really nervous about having our families there because, man, we're cursing and telling pretty crazy jokes. I'll just say like the live show for Mega 64 you we don't have to worry about what fucking Twitch's terms of service are. Yeah. Exactly. I don't have to worry about what YouTube's fucking code of conduct or any of this bullshit pervert. and we have the freedoms to honestly be perverts but uh <laughs> no but just like the live show like we could say whatever the fuck we want and yes. it's a lot more you know uh, I'm not gonna say edgier. It's just funnier because we're not yeah. fucking restricted. Well, it's more unfiltered. It's more unfiltered, sure. So that live show has some content in it that, man, we were all very nervous because it's like the hometown show, the first time any of our families have actually been able to come because it's the closest we've booked a live show. Uh, yeah, you that know, wasn't up in like fucking deep ass LA. Yeah, and if you count like the last time we had a show in San Diego, it was like a version three screening during oh, Comic Con. Really? Yeah, because my parents came to, like, that, and they're like, we haven't seen something since, like, 2010. I'm like, yeah, version 3 screenings during Comic-Con were a thing back then. I forgot oh, about those. yeah, we would rent out a theater. In, in Point Loma. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, fun. long story short, after the show... Oh, did they shoot him down? These motherfuckers. Who shot that down? After the show... My mom's like, oh my god, okay, you said that one really lewd thing, and then uh, I did a different take than I usually do on the whole tour. Like, I said this really lewd thing, and I did this really lewd thing. Yeah. And then I uh, I said, sorry, mom. <laughs> I remember that. Do you remember yeah. I, me yeah. saying that? Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom, at the night of the show. So as I said that, apparently, she's like, She's like, I don't know why. Oh, this guy's got fucking armor on. 
Ooh. Oh, and a shotgun. I'm gonna get out here. Oh, don't call for backup yet. There we go. Fuck you. <laughs> My mom's like, I don't know why I said it, but after you were like, I'm, s hey, sorry, mom. I, uh, I tapped the guy next to me and I was like, I'm his mom. What? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh shit. Tell a story here, guys. Can't you fucking cool it with the goddamn grenades? Fuck off. It's a fucking flesh wound. Yeah. Come back from this. Oh! Alright, well, if we reload, maybe we'll hear the dog, right? Uh, maybe. I'm hoping. Or do we go to another... I would just go to another mission. Go to mission. another mission from the AAC? Yeah. Uh, let's see. If the dog doesn't do anything, I'll call it. Or if the dog doesn't show up, I'll call it. Anyway. You know, she she hits the guy next to her. Hey, I am his mom. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. And she's like, he looked at me, you know, just like, okay, why is this lady talking to me? I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. And I was like, <laughs> no, you were excited. I, it's fine that he's just a Mega 64 fan. You can hit him. Yeah. You, you can tell him. He's probably excited that he yeah. was sitting next to my whole family once he realized that. Yeah, exactly. Then, two days later... I'm looking at the photo I took, Brian. I'm just going to post it without context, and then I'll take it down so you can zoom in on it. And then uh, I'll post it with, like, the text and the context that I want to later. But uh, get ready to check out my Twitter in a sec. Oh, okay. So two days later is when I'm looking at this photo. And I'm like, okay. Just posted it. I'm like, Okay. Now, I hope we can zoom in on Twitter. That's the one thing I don't fucking know for Should sure. Because I can on. zoom way in on my phone. And I'm looking at that photo real quick. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, who was my mom sitting next to? Who was that guy she tapped? Maybe I know him because I realize, you know, my buddy Manny is sitting right next to my brother-in-law, Sean. Like, look, yeah, there's, there's Sean. There's Manny. There's my mom. Look right there. Look, there's Manny, my brother-in-law, Sean. There's Lacey. There's my sister, my dad, my mom. And then I'm looking right next to... There's my mom, right? Yeah. Okay. You can see on the screen there, Brian. That's my dad. That's my mom. Guess what shirt the dude right next to my fucking mom's wearing? I love hot moms. <laughs> Look, you can see me. So imagine you're watching the fucking show. Hold on, you can't see you. There's there me. you are. There you are. There, yeah. uh, you imagine you're watching the fucking show, right? Yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, some lady taps you and goes, hey, I'm his mom. And you realize, like, oh, I'm wearing an I Heart Hot Mom. Is this lady telling me I'm a mom because I'm wearing a Hot Mom shirt? Oh, I'm just thinking now, what is the, oh. where's the secondhand embarrassment? On him or on... I don't know if he would have even gone that far. I don't know if he that. made the connection, but it just made me crack up when I was like, oh, yeah, he acted weird when you did that? Uh, I wonder why. Because <laughs> I, I think I figured it out. Now, I haven't told her this yet. Oh, I, yeah. I, I kind of can't wait to. Uh, She's going to love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you can zoom in on that, Brian, yeah. again. Oh, sure. Who? Oh, this fucking Deiru is here. I can't land when the sandstorm's hitting anyway. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's just abandon. Yosh. Let's see. Full screen. That's a, quite the shirt. There's Garrett's mom. There's my mom. There's my dad. Keep going over. You see my sister, my brother-in-law. There's Manny, the homie. Who yeah. else is in the audience? Uh, um, lots of people. Lots of people. Kind of gets hard to see. Their lots faces. of people. I got the wrestling crew in the back. Yeah. But just know, there. you can zoom in if you ever come to a show. Uh, the next day, you can find yourself. You can find yourself. Silent Bob was there. <laughs> <laughs> that, thing, that does look like Silent Bob. Oh, Sean's Richard family. and Christian and uh, yeah, there's the Chatfield. There's oh, Nancy yeah, yeah. and Dick Bodie. Yeah, 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 Over yeah. Here. And Carter. Yep. Right it was there. cool. Sean's family's over here. It was a good time. It was a good time. The whole crew. Okay, I'm gonna take this photo down because I want to put this up later with like context or whatever. But yeah, uh, was I on Twitter or Instagram? I can't remember. Tweet that. People are gonna go. Why'd you delete it? Because fuck you. It's already got 97 engagement. I don't even... Do they have engagement matter. anymore? Remove. Delete. Deleted. All right, that's done. Uh, Yeah, man. So that's... Hey, man. Restart mission. Return to title. No, don't we just go... 
Call the AAC. Now I forget how to fucking control the game. And I'm not even streaming the <laughs> game screen. Missions. Is it just go back to Mother Base? Where is that, Brian? Oh, return, oh, return to AAC. AAC. There it is. I couldn't see it the first time. That's Duh. All right. all right, so we covered 64X. We got all the Nirvana the Band details for you and yours. And... We talked about that live show Sunday. That's right. Hey, man, I'm not joking, but get your tickets now. Mega64.com slash tour. We are still coming in November to the entire West Coast and up in Toronto, Canada. So more to come on that. But we got San Francisco, Sacramento, Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix, and Los Angeles. Brian, you got no excuse. There you go. You still got about a month, two months. Get your tickets now. VIP tickets available. What is the VIP package? You ask. Well, you get in first. You get first chance at seating. So you want to be front row? You can get it. Yeah. You also get to line up and meet Rocco, Derek, Sean, myself. First to the merch booth for Kevin and Johnny. Yeah. A photo on your phone with us, a signed poster while we chat about what it is you do, where the fuck you're from, and why you came all the way here from, did someone from the show on Saturday mm -hmm. came from, oh, on Sunday rather, came from uh, above Sacramento, really? eight hour drive, and it was their birthday, shouts out. Shout out. Could have just uh, waited to the Sacramento show, but okay. <laughs> so and and uh, yeah, you, you you get some goodies. You get there first. Uh, you get to hang with us for a couple minutes while we sign some posters and talk to you. It's a good time. And uh, we give you a photo, and uh, then we can uh, send you on your way. Oh, usually if there's a bar, that's where you get a couple drinks, get some liquid laughter going. Yeah. Check Kevin for the unsold out exclusives at the merch booth. And then pick out uh, first and best seats in the house. Yes. That's the VIP package available at every show still, uh, as well as general admission. <clears throat> GA? GA, baby. Okay. Fuck it. It's worth it. I want to find this Please dog so bad, Brian. One way or another, it's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, you that was it. that yeah, was three. Let's try four now. C2W. Mission accepted. Sure. Let's land. Let's hear the dog. See y'all in SLC, Tristan. I'll see you there. Yeah. Salt Lake City. <laughs> Dr. Butthugger is warning people that... Um, I'm just canceling because I don't know what... I wanted to upgrade the equipment. I don't know why I didn't do that. Please. Uh, what was that? C2W? Yeah. Mission Dr. Butthugger was warning people that if they're not prepared, Rocco and I are... are <laughs> we're all... <laughs> I'm 6'2". We're not 6'5 and 6'7". No. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, you know. Uh, thank you. But I guess we're taller in uh, most people's eyes than they imagine. That's what I hear, anyway. Okay, we're going into the mission. ASAP, baby. Dude, I already had to take a little break. It's time for a urination. You know what that means. Oh, ho, ho. Too much coffee. Dude, there, Sean got this iced coffee that's in there. Oh, yeah? See those cans? Yeah. They're like rocket fuel, bro. Are they? I drank one a little late in the afternoon, and I was like, I can't fall asleep. That I'm, never happens to me with coffee, dude. I'm glad I didn't drink any. Oh. Stick to the drip. I had my regular two cups, one when I got here, one right before the show, and now I'm all set. We're going to find this fucking dog. I still got to go. If I had my druthers, we're going to find the dog. We're going to install the DDR. 64 gigs of RAM, oh, and yes. we're gonna work on that fucking song for Horace Horse Caller tonight. <laughs> now, some of these things have to be crossed off the list because there's no way we're putting it all. But if I had my infinite time loop, I'd love to do that. Any superpower in in the world, I would just want what Evie had from uh, out of this world. Pause time. Bing. Look at that. Bing. That's all you gotta do. Pause the time. 
You could be swinging on a star. Oh man, what a good show that was. Oh fuck, Brian! Look who it is! This little fuck. What's up, dog? We're gonna do what we came here to do, cause I mean, ocelot. What the dog do? We gonna take this dog home. Can we like just exfiltrate them and then leave, or do we have to like complete the mission? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just call call the helicopter back, right? Pick up. Please, the landing zone is Roger. Take you home. We'll get a checkpoint. How about that? Oh wait, 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 wait. Here's this. Stealth ammo. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yep. Enemy detected. Roger that. What? Fuck. All right. Have it your way. Whoa. Okay, so we heard him go up in the air. But, uh, but did he say, uh... Support helicopter has okay, the support helicopter has arrived at the LZ. But... Did it did it do the, like, uh... The check-in, where, like, if we checkpoint, then the dog will be received at Mother Base kind of thing? That's usually how this works, right? We get a checkpoint. Let's see if we can get one. Checkpoint, there we are. So, extraction... One wild animal pup. Did you see it? Yeah. It worked, baby. Now go back to the Now I'm gonna go back to the chopper. Where is the Get through the chopper. Here it is. Enemy detected. Can you honk the horn? Yeah, remember. Let's turn the lights on and off. It's down the horn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh I didn't hit him. Oh I think I might have. See how off road this vehicle is. Uh, not, very. not very. Well, I mean. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it home and we'll cash it out later. Fucking mission complete, baby. We already did it. Get uh, the fuck out of here. Something about wearing the sleeveless shirt has uh, turned me into Adam Cole. Well, I can't quite stop saying uh, baby. I don't know what it is. Neither can any of us back in the day. I don't know. He's new for me. Baby! Uh, is it time for a break? Oh, there's a fly in my car. No! I didn't have my lid on! You know, I kind of like when it's fly season. Extra protein. Oh, yeah? You like that? Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, uh... The, spy the orb weavers are in my fucking yard like crazy. Dude. Oh, the spiders? It's big spiders, and they put the web up every evening. Yeah. And I walk through it every night. Yep. <laughs> and then it's gone in the morning. Uh-huh, they eat it. I will relocate them because seriously, they will build it in front of my fucking doorway. Oh, I know. I've seen it. It's disgusting. And I take a broom and I'm like, come here, you bastard. And I twist them all up like a cotton candy vendor. Yeah. And then I just go kind of like scrape them on a cactus over in some other part of the yard. There you go. Hey, build your shit over where I don't walk every fucking day. Yep. You ass. I hate that shit. I walk through and I'm like, oh, it's in my hair. And usually it isn't in my hair, but I, I like hold the web up on my arm and I can see him going like. Yeah. And then I got like 2.5 seconds in fucking darkness to like fling it into a bush. Hate it. Ugh. Hate and they're, they it. are like fucking quarter sized bastards. The butt on them is huge. Anyway, it's not like Australia. Chloe's dealing with the goddamn oh, tarantula yeah, like size. Hand-sized spiders? And they fucking fly or sh and they spit jump. venom too. They fucking so jump at you. Happy. They jump into your bed and sleep there. <laughs> Speaking of, the other one's been very hard at work on our first PPS merchandise Ooh. and it's all all coming together tight I gotta say man we're yes. almost there we're almost there okay so we got a dog we gotta get our asses back to base we certainly do get our ass to Mars no no back to base baby. 30 seconds to Mars <sighs> was that uh, Leto's band Jared Leto's band yeah guys are quite you know we talk a lot of shit on Jared Leto but I mean it's an accomplished artist that yes. has a popular musical and acting career yeah there's i mean yeah not but, like most actors that then transition into music it's like he kind of did it at both at the same time yeah so it wasn't weird like this guy's got a fucking band it's like he kind of always had the band yeah then he became the joker 
Yeah, What's up? He was in Fight Club. He was in a bunch. Arf, arf. A bunch of movies. They fucked him up in Fight Club. They did oh, him yeah. dirty in Fight Club. For uh, his first few roles, he got fucked up in every movie he was in. Yeah. I wanted to destroy Here's something the dog beautiful. You brought back. Bit of a troublemaker. Like fucking sure Requiem breed, for a though. Dream. He's all. I love that movie. Fucked up. I can't watch bigger. it anymore though. Yes. Yeah, um, I did a thing where like yeah, this. I saw it enough times, and it puts me into a you know, fucking downer mood. Still a puck, you know, uh, it's listen, a downer movie. I just watched used. one part over and over. Yeah, I that part you discovered at a the real party. In the oh my god. <laughs> the little polish. And so we got a true air. diamond dog on our hands. Oh. We got our mascot, boys and girls. Look at that. That's right, sisters, brothers, cousins, and uncles. You heard it here first. D-D, right. D-Dog is on base. No, no, JR. This is a monumental moment. I hope everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. Hey. That's the longest one we can make. What the That's kind of scary. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, uh, you know, when, uh, speaking of uh, scary music, when Don Callis comes out in AEW now, yeah. they give him a theme. Have you noticed that at all? Like, what's yeah, his, going on? His theme is like the. Uh... It's just like a low, unnerving tone. Yeah. It's like when they lower the, uh, the cage. <laughs> Like the uh, steel cage in WWE, they have like the theme song. For yeah, it, I mean, this is even like that. That's even melodic. It's just, it's just this low, dreadful tone that's like <laughs> emanates a sense of uh, helplessness. And he's coloring in that scar extra yeah. fucking red now. <laughs> Good shit. Might as well. I'm back on my bullshit. I haven't been. I haven't finished watching the. Honestly, I haven't finished watching the second pay per view. What was that? All in. All, all out was Wembley, and then all in was Chicago. Uh, whatever. I haven't finished watching the Chicago one. Yeah, all out. And subsequently, I haven't really caught up on you know regular TV shows like Dynamite and everything else. But uh, I have been watching fucking Botchamania again. So oh, good. <laughs> that's almost the, the 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 recap I need. Uh, okay, so we found the dog. Fucking finally. Let's just go do our next mission. Because he's not going to be old enough to, like... No. You got to do, Take like, I think, uh, you got to do one mission and then you'll be able to, uh... To, to like, you know... Age him up. Age him up. Get another cutscene. Dude, that came out of the fucking water. It's like there's, like, a landing pad over there or something. There might be another... Yeah. He was, like, over here. Maybe. Or over here. I know this one has a landing pad on the top and on the bottom. Oh yeah, you could. I forgot you could. We could go to the top of the roof and take yeah. off. That was that was pretty cool. Especially when you would go there during FOBs, try and attack uh, or like oh, yeah. take someone's FOB, conquer that shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna remember the controls. Now that we're playing, a, you know, mission not to just get a dog. We're actually going on. Uh, Mission 20 voices now. Here we go. I'm gonna get some fucking gaming done, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the stealth camo to quickly maneuver through camps because I don't care about only getting an A ranking. Uh, we're gonna have the we're gonna have quiet with us as a buddy. Uh, I'll, I'll do that because let her just fucking kill dudes, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't care about, you know. They scout the location Just too. don't let me get caught so we can get to the fucking objective quickly, which uh, I believe here, you know, first playthrough, there are many ways to complete this mission. Particularly its final battle. It's definitely one that you wanna revisit later once you have access to Biz Boss's full range of equipment. Boom, boom, boom. On the first attempt, it's enough to survive. Don't strive for perfection. So we got a couple of tasks here. Extract uh, Shibani. Successfully 
hit the floating boy with an attack, fight off the man on fire, pinpoint the route to the industrial zone. We can go right there, though, because I know this game. We know this map. We can go to the industrial zone without getting, you know, challenge task three or whatever it is. Uh, hey, while we're here real quick, anything to develop? We've done a couple checkpoints Please? in the, like, There's what, hour project. we've been fucking around on stream? It's all AKs. Fuck that. I'm saving my money. Yeah. Buddy equipment, though. Uh, uh, was that lit up? Yeah. You saw it. Nine items to make. Please specify a project. All for D Walker. Oh, they're locked. Why does it say nine? What a minute. Equipment? Oh, we've. Where do you equip it? I mean, you would equip it from your battle loadout. Oh, even on D Walker? I think so. Where? It says that there's nine items, but. Maybe further up to the right. Goes up to like 16, doesn't it? I mean, it says there's four items, right, that I haven't looked at or whatever. Two that I haven't looked at, but none of these are, like, usable yet. Discharger. Oh, I forgot about this thing. A high-voltage electric stun gun. Oh, yeah, I had that. Uh, let's just do it. Mission list. Please select a mission. Voices. Accept. Mission accepted. So, the idea here is to make our way to, like, rescue a kid somewhere. And then once he's out, we keep following this path to this industrial zone here. That's the idea. Fuck it. There's only one Africa. landing zone? That's a, uh, yeah, let's see. Roger that. Heading to Central Africa. There you go. That's all we can do. Okay, what buddies we got? Quiet, still only one weapon, naked. Jesus. Um. Do we need a car? Nah. Might be cool. I mean... Quiet, get in. This one hauls more ass. Um, um, um... Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, I forgot you could do loadouts. Let's see. Equipment. I think that's everything I want. Yeah. We don't need any extra shit. Oh, yeah. Loadouts were very important. So when you would do... Too. Yeah. We would do really low cost loadouts so yes. that when you're playing, you're not spending a lot of resources. Yep. And then you would do like, hey, here's a boss fight loadout where I'm going to spend a lot of money and a lot of, you know, resources t to use this equipment, but it's good shit. It's those fruit flies. It's one of these little fruit flies in here. Damn little gnat. None in mine. Little sucker. <laughs> Better than the mosquitoes outside right now. San, yeah, man, San Diego's, those motherfuckers. I, I keep, I'm working out outside, right? I'm, like, lifting weights, and my citronella candles, like, oh, and I went to the grocery store, I didn't buy a refill. I meant Dude. to do that. But my we, candle's empty, you know? Yeah. Shibani. Like, the wick went out, so then I'm taking, like, I'm, like, stealing Trisha's candles, and I'm fucking cutting the wicks out of them and putting it in the box, because there's still wax in my citronella. Dude, it works. Dude. Whatever works. I, I can't get over it. They, they made her... The, the way she is. Android. It's great. This is the last video game that feels like, uh, like a video game from the '90s in a weird way. It's like it takes place in the '80s, yeah. and it has this extreme over sexuality and and violence that the '90s had. When you wanted to play a game, it was like Mortal Kombat, turn the blood on, you know? Yeah, yeah. fucking blood code. I mean, I was thinking about this the other day. Oh, she just popped in. Hey, what's up? Like, the reason I got in... The reason I became an otaku, and the reason I got into anime and video games is because, like, as a product of the 90s and, like, all the striving for extreme content that I was being fed with cable television raising me... Yeah. The next thing was, like, what? Horror movies for me. Banana video. Yeah. Video store rental. What's the crazy shit that they can't even show on cable, you know? Yeah. Hellraiser. Fucking Evil Dead. Oh my god, this is nuts. Oh, these Japanese filmmakers are doing crazy shit like, you know, Itchy the Killer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm finding out, like, Dead Alive and Meet the Feebles. And, and you know, all, I'm opened up to, like, more than horror. And that's where, you know, what did anime and... Um, 
uh, uh, video games had. Like, in the 90s, it was, like, violence, blood and guts. Yeah. And, uh, you know, fan service, essentially. Hey. Uh, and that's kind of where I, I, it, it, it's very interesting, like, being raised on cable kind of got me in that headspace, I think. To where, like, yeah, of course, fucking anime spoke to me and video games spoke to me. And, like, all the art I have tattooed on my body is by Japanese fucking manga or anime artists. Yeah, that's true. Pretty much most of it. Pretty much most of it. There's some lettering and some stuff that's Nirvana-inspired, but... Yeah, I mean, the whole leg on one side's all, you know, Resident Evil. So that's uh, Shinji Mikami, or yeah. or whatever the character designers working over at Capcom were, because a lot of that art is, like, from the rebuilds. Uh, the first rebuild, actually. Um, but then, like, you know... Even uh, whoa. Damn. even my plans like I've, I've been thinking about getting more tattoos lately, and oh, it's like really? it's all yeah because I still don't have a Metal Gear tat, and then I don't have anything, um, and I don't necessarily want uh, something from Dragon Ball, but I do want an Akira Toriyama tattoo. Yeah. So I've been th I've been planning out something like that. This isn't working too well with the Jeep here. I'm trying to boulder here in this fucking. Should have taken the bigger APC out on the road. Let's see if we can just back out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, what's up? Okay, we're going the right way even. Uh, looks like it. Where's the kid? Oh, shit. Do they see me? There's one. Analysis Two. Analysis three. Complete. Let's get these guys, and we'll interrogate some of them, because there is a kid we're supposed to rescue, and I feel kind of bad. And I want my demon horn to grow smaller. Analysis complete. So the trick to see if you missed anyone now is to uh, get closer and do a little scan. And if they don't light up, where your red dots are, one. Oh, I was only in range for one? Okay. Still, effective test. Hold on a sec here. Uno, dos, cuatro, seis. All right, and you are going to take quite the fall here in a second. Sorry about that, bud. Wake up. Oh wait, if I wake him up, is he shot? Let's just take him home. Let's just get him home. Good idea. Get him home safe, the cause. Oh yeah, I can tell her to scout too. So three, the three oh, dots. Favorite thing about her. Oh, but it's only, it's, it's just kill enemy. Well, she's not even in range. Enemy presence detected. Where is her ass? Has been updated. Buddy. No, that's the four wheel drive. Where is she? What the hell? Marker place. Marker removed. Can I like? Marker to marker tell, removed. Isn't there a way to tell her to come here? Reset coordinates. Toggle map nav. Zoom in and out. Marker place. Marker removed. Hmm. Can't remember. Analysis it would just be like complete. to call her, but she can't hear my ass. Enemy presence detected. The That's weird that she stayed updated. there, right? Yeah. I forget how. I just gotta get a checkpoint, and she'll show up again, maybe. Anyone in here? Ooh, flame materials. Hello. Our favorite. Okay. Uh, is this a... I thought I saw, like, a checkpoint. Oop. One down and two down. Look at that. Couldn't have lined them up better. Uh, let's see who's in here. Diamonds? No. Nope. Some plans. For a Sando. What kind of gun was that? Sando sounds like a shotgun. You know, I didn't play any games at all since last week on oh, the yeah? PPS. Yeah, I fucking still haven't fired up Fires of Rubicon. Still haven't done any of the VR shit I've been trying to do. Yes. Hold on, I'm gonna reset this camera real quick. He's but Roger that. Uh, I did 
create a new character in Cyberpunk Red. So what? And that took me like two fucking three hours today. I forgot how detailed oh. character creation in a tabletop RPG is. Oh, right. I heard your character died. Yeah, I got... <laughs> Slick got himself turned into a grease spot. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a, a poser gang called the uh, Tiger Kings. Yeah. Fucking wiped me out. Actually, they didn't even kill me. A fucking drone from some old piece of technology corpo warehouse that we were raiding fucking got my ass. Um, but my character Slick, he was pretty headstrong. Ran into battle without kind of thinking a lot. Uh, and he got himself perished. You know, it happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? You see it every Wednesday. So Slick... <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. So Slick is no more, and it's like, yo, yeah, he's... Fu fuck, dude, I had... I had... Ooh, this is what burns me up. I had 310 improvement points. That's me saving all my IP, which is like EXP. Yeah. For, I don't know, almost uh, eight, nine months of playing. Uh-huh. To upgrade my my main tech ability. Because I can spend like 10 IP here, 4 IP here, upgrading some skills and shit. I was saving it all. All! Just to make my main role as a tech go up to level 5 for 300 IP. I fucking uh, died before I got to use it. I'm back at zero, dude. I'm fucking uh, starting all over again. Oh my god. And I had like... I had looted over the course of our battles and our fucking plays. I had looted so many good weapons and cyber arms and all kinds of gear. Is he shooting? Yeah. No, it's someone else. Who's shooting him down? It's him. Yeah, you felt that, didn't you? Come on. How many misses? Ah, uh, now we got it. Yeah, I had a fucking, I had a grenade launcher cyber arm that was like an astronomically expensive luxury item that I was so under leveled to even be able to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. But I, I, we killed this dude, this clown guy and fucking pillaged all of his gear. We scavenged his whole fucking body for his cyberware. Good. So I was like prepared with Slick to make a new fucking giant cyber arm with a grenade launcher and I was going to repair it. It was, it, it was equipment I had no access to at the level I was at. Yeah. Gone. Because he's dead. It's locked up in his fucking warehouse and like our gang doesn't have access to it anymore. Oh, all, really? the sh all the shit. Dude, uh, yeah, when you it's like I've never played a tabletop game or like D and D. Like my D and D characters have never died. Okay. I've only played with Lynn that we play on the Mega sixty four D and D. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> I think Lynn the Bleak is my full name, and she's never passed. You know. But the uh, Cyberpunk, it's pretty easy to get killed. <laughs> I see. It's that type of game. I think it's, you know. <clears throat> I think the gameplay is intended to keep you poor, and it's a fucking bummer all the time. Oh, yeah. And you and die, and detected. shit goes wrong. It's like, that's the normal. Uh, anyway. But my new character, I, I will say, I spent three hours creating a really fun character. Another tech, because I wanted to keep exploring that role. Okay. But having known now how the game is played, because I've been playing for almost a year... It was way better to create a detailed character and not just pick, like, a generic character like I did before. Okay. Because I built out my stats, and I only put skills into stuff that I used. Now, now that we've been playing, I realize, like, how combat works and how... He's coming to oh, just fucking that. don't worry about all these other skills I was thinking I was going to use. I'm going to put all my stuff towards these skills that I know I'm going to use. Uh, especially because that's how my DM has been playing us. I'm gonna gear this new character to be that way. And I feel like I'm already like stronger than I was. Yeah. And more tuned to play a combat based role. I gave myself a melee weapon and instead of just going shotgun and grenades, I'm going sword and pistol. So oh, that's smart. like I'm changing yeah, I'm definitely like changing shit up. So uh yeah. My new character Rykov. He's hitting the fucking... <laughs> He's hitting Night City tomorrow. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. Good name. Yeah. Oh, there's a theme, for sure. I kind of just loosely created a character when I made Slick. 
you know, randomized his personality traits and backstory and stuff. But this time, I, I definitely based him off something to help me roleplay, which yeah. I took advice from the wrestlers that I've been working with. And, like, you know, I've got my gimmick figured out. I've got my character built. But a lot of people, like, that's a real hard time. You know, it's like, what do I do for a character? What do I call myself? Yeah. How do I play this face or this heel up? And what do we talk about? Like, the best character is being based off other things. I agree. Look at Orange Cassidy. Oh, yeah. He's Matthew McConaughey from Wet Hot American Summer. Yep. And he bases it off that tiny, iconic role, and it fucking fleshes out with, with Orange's natural personality from there. But that based structure gives it such a strong mm -hmm. identity. And uh, Sting, we talked about this before. He's the fucking crow. Yeah. Then he was the Joker, you know, and it, it works. <laughs> so uh, I was thinking about that with my with my cyberpunk character too. I was like, well, I mean, I'm already doing that in wrestling. I mean, Strife from the game crypt, that's the wrestling gimmick I'm using. Oh yeah. And if you know, like, that is. Peter Murphy from Bauhaus. It's the androgynous sucking uh, in of the cheeks. Oh, see, I didn't know that. And it's just, I'm the goth, I'm the most goth thing ever. It's yeah. like, well, who's the goth grandfather? It's Peter well, Murphy I mean, from just, Bauhaus. It's just you. So the the new character in Cyberpunk, I was just thinking like, God damn, it is just me. Right? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. That was a rogue, I don't know, quiet's out there somewhere, just letting them fly. Um, <laughs> unsuppressed fire. Uh, is there anyone jacking off to this right now? <laughs> Unsuppressed fire. I just made that up. That's, that's really good. <laughs> oh, oh should I go get my car now? Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, yeah we're going to drive there. I don't want to run. So, uh, so yeah, the, the new character. He's a child soldier. He's a tech with a dark future named Rykov. Real name Jack. Uh... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing cyberware. I can only afford one cyber arm right now, yeah. and some tech scanner upgrades in that oh, cyber arm. I've got a contain. Oh, you're right. Uh, I've got a katana. Very nice. Uh, it's a, a high frequency blade. In fact, uh, you can go in and you can really detail out like generic weapons. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I've only got the one cyber arm, but we're definitely down the road. My goal is other cyber arm, cyber legs. Uh, my humanity is gonna be like super down. My empathy is gonna be like way down. But uh, gives a shit. well, when I go into cyber psychosis, Jack the Ripper comes out, and then it's time to let her rip. You know what I'm saying? Like it's absolutely. So not. basically, like it's gonna be so easy to role play this character because it's like I know you obviously picked up what I'm putting down here. But oh yeah, Raiden now is just gonna be like my cyberpunk persona. That's uh, great. Yeah, I'm super excited, and I just thought, like, hey, hit this guy. Please hit him. Oh. We're drifting. We're drifting. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you ain't dead. Oh, not even by a skosh. I hope everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. Roll around. You'd be favorite, right. favorite thing to do in Death Stranding was run over people. With my car. With my trike. <laughs> Why is qu extraction failed? Oh, he died, dude. Oh well. Whatever. Who needs a pussies back a on bitch. Mother Base? We only want the best. Hey. Sorry, I identify that word uh, as negative, and I shouldn't. That was. I didn't use that in the right context. Little baby. Well, now that's again. Now I'm gonna have the babies back. The pussies and the babies are gonna be fucking mad. Oh, I'm a baby, baby, baby. Be a millionaire. I just found that clip the other day. Oh, oh yeah. Me, you, Frank. Like, who else is in the studio? So many people are in the studio. Uh, Sean, Eric, oh, and leaders. I think Rock. And then, I, no, Jenny as well. Yeah, Jenny and all the kids are, like, behind in the glass. Yeah, the kids might have been there, too. I can't remember. But I know, yeah, we were fucking around, and uh, Sean, like, came in and, like, tackled us. Oh, I was supposed to question something. Threw you over. Yeah, Sean tackled the shit out of me. Yeah, he tackled the fuck out of me. I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> Sean's a pilot. I don't know. Oh, we gotta get up here. We gotta get up on the playa. Back at, uh, speaking of wrestling, I was back at wrestling yesterday. Spreading the love. We had some, uh, some good participation. It's nice 
when there's six bodies, you know, we can we can all pair off and run drills together. Cause six six people, you can pretty much fill our ring. Our ring's 14 by 14, so it's a little bigger. Oh man, that's stuck. That's for sure stuck. <laughs> I've been here before. That ain't coming out. <laughs> all right. Good. I think that was actually harmful more than it was helpful. I gotta get through this fucking little area. Let's put a marker there. But can I? Because yeah. look. Oh, wait. Put one here first. E, F, B. Because we got to travel like through this crack. Some pathway in the hills that I can't find. And quiet is just fucking gone. Man. Which is weirding me out. So just waiting back at the... At the AAC, but that's... The infiltration point. Why didn't she follow me? It would sure as fuck help with the boss fight. Do I have to drive back over there and tell her, like, hey, come here? Yeah, I don't know. I think Wait, I think I heard her. Oh, that's... I think you might be able to call her with the actual map. I thought I could too, but like, now... Press down, like, uh, go back to the map and press up and down on the D-pad. Oh, that's it. Quiet. Scout, quiet, attack. Brian, I forgot all about this. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're going to put her... Scouting. Yeah, because we've got fucking microphones, dog. Alright, she's on the move. I'm almost out of my suppressor. That's fine. What the fuck? Who said wolves? Oh, you two. Wait, wait, wait. It's not fucking wolves. It's a goddamn hyenas. Ryan. One for you. Fucking one for you. We're out of silencer, but whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna damage a hi a poor hyena. I'm not that kind of guy. We're animal conservationists here. Mm -hmm. It's in the title of the stream today. Something like that. Oh, she scouted all these fuckers? Oh, dog. We're good. We're good. Favorite thing about Quiet was her scout. She's there. D Dog would, like, give you an approximate. Oh, she just disappeared. Oh, look at this like, stuff. She was the best. Too much. Has been updated. Wait, 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 wait. She's pointing her laser. Take him out. Fire. Me and you together, baby. One down, one to go. Right in the butt. Something bit me. That's you know who says that. Poor scum. <laughs> Almost a high of me about six stained dog peppers. <laughs> I love. I love that uh, Vector pointed that out. That, my God, that's the maybe the best Force Gump impression I've ever heard. And then I, I went. Started running. It, it made me go back and re-listen to it. I went. Ah, this is good. This is good. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Who said that? You. Who said we're whack. Fuck you. I don't know if I got Easiest it. way to line it up: bottom of the arrow on the little triangle. You say that. If you get it just under there. Who's... You know it'll be a headshot every oh. time. Fucking kill him. Run, Forrest, run. I started running. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. I didn't stop. For two whole years. Actually, I should have no longer with the subject fucking light. <laughs> and I didn't stop running. Jenai, is he locked in my. Oh, wait. I was supposed to fucking interrogate some of these guys to find out where the kid is. We still gotta get, uh. Shabani. God damn it, Shabani. I'd be buying that, uh. That whole fat Greek yogurt by Shabani. You ever oh, had that? Oh, yeah. Hey. I love that. I mean, we're trying to get sh Shabani, but he got me, he got me hungry. He got me he fucked get, up, Shabani. He got me thinking about. You get that shit? He got me thinking about yogurt. And, uh. Oh. Instead of milk, you, uh. You use what? Yogurt. For a smoothies? For cereal. Yeah, I've, ooh, 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 I've done it with granola. No, I do it with some frosted flakes. Some flake. frosted flakes would be good as fuck. <laughs> or some, like cinnamon toast Wait, crunch or go? cocoa pebbles. Did he die? Oh, no, he's here. Or any cereal. Just replace, if you get the probiotics, it's good for hey. you. Wake up. Uh, yeah, I've been doing, every once in a while, I do the, um, oh, dude, I want to interrogate him. No, I can't. Can I pick him up? I can just send him home. Fuck. He'll die if I don't, so now he's got a chance. 
Okay, we really gotta interrogate someone and find Shivani. Before we get here to the actual industrial zone. But right now, it too. looks like if we Roger stay on that. this road... Quiet. Quiet, follow Quiet. me. Follow me. This road is uncharted. Yeah, we're crossing. Wait, where's the, where's the road go? Okay, we got that guy. He was saved. Uh, looks like the topography is going to force us through this gully. Boom. Boom. Right? It seems that way. It looks like you might be able to go up. Or does it go up through here? That's where it is. Slide down. Slide down. Remove. Remove. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Calm down, dude. Oh, man. Thank you, Donna. Donna Burke. Marcos removed. Marco, <laughs> Donna Burke. Donna Burke, voice of an angel. I turned her Marco stupid Marco ass Marco off as Vector. Ah, Vec! You know what? You know, after, oh. after a while, I did. I mean, after like 800, I like it. After 800 hours, dude, like setting up all of these fucking, you know? Oh my god. He's too much. Oh, is my is that my stomach growling? No, that was. That's a different game. I swear to God, I heard my stomach growl. But that's that's Metal Gear game. Three. I don't know. Yeah. Why would his stomach growl on this though? There's no way to cure that, and I don't have like. Oh wait, you can have stomach disease. You can look in the wait. Wait, no, that was three. That I'm was fucking. Three. I'm fucked up. There no, was medicine and three. No, but I thought there was a three. way to make yourself throw up in this game too, but I, I don't think so. No. I'm, I'm, like in the viewer. Yeah, but there's no viewer. That was no, three and four. No, that was three and four. That's what I'm thinking about. Thinking about four. In four, you can still make yourself vomit. Shabani. Okay, so we got D-Dog. I mean, that's really all I wanted to do. But this is like, this is a big mission. Yeah, we gotta get. We want Shabani, cause look at my horn, dude. Seriously, check. Oh, how big is that horn? Ooh, it's, it's not, not bad. bad. But I bet I'll go down even more if I Don't rescue down. another kid. Down. And I don't think he's like hurt. I think we can, we can bolt in his ass. Go down, down. I mean, bolt this old fool. Ooh, who's this? Sure Enemy <laughs> Quiet, check this shit out for sure. Oh, where is she? She's not here again. Okay. Oh. There's fucking, I'm in danger. Quiet, scout this area, police. Um, why not? Yeah, you think you saw something? You think you know? Oh, fun. what was it? I feel like you could knock out one of the drivers. Buddy has the wood farm, and then it would make the other driver go faster. Oh, really? Yeah, there was something about like they would get out of the truck to do like you know a patrol, but if you knocked out one of them, they would for some reason do the round, the run faster. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna ask you some questions. That fucking fruit flies on my glasses, dude! This is gonna be loud. How didn't it fucking hit either? Alright, one more question for you. Specialist, you told me where specialist was. Where are your friends? I'm gonna fucking freak. You're going down, dog. Alright, we're going stealth. Now, you. Lay down. Who's left? She scouted a whole shitload of dudes in here. Yeah. Awesome, girl. That's why they rule. Awesome. Totally awesome. Okay, we're extracting you. Stealth camo just ran out. Hey! Come on! 
Oh, we're out of fucking Fultons? Hold on a sec here. Resupply because I'm also out of um, ammo and silencers. Bring it right to me, baby. Who's that? Are they coming? 65. Maybe they saw that? Let's get a view. Ah, yeah, here they come. Wait till they pop right through. Ready? Can I get them through the hole? Ooh, it opened. Too late. What you might have heard as a I... stomach growl might have been uh, quiet humming. What is this guy doing? She could take him out. I'm gonna tell her. Kill him. Oh, it hit me! I was hoping it was gonna hit him. Alright, we got Fulton back now. We already used 24 Fulton in this mission? Yeah. Oh, and I've got silenced uh, Hush Puppy. Whoops. Buddy! There you go. What the fuck, dog? I mean, wh what was that? Is that me clicking off the fucking first person too fast? That was weird. Well, now we gave up our fucking position. Oh, and I wanted to check where the, uh... Where, he said that they had a, a specialist. Maybe I already got him. But where's the fucking kid at? Without probably I mean, at the objective. You gotta extract him. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it don't matter. We just gotta survive. You're pretty good. Okay, she's going after the enemy. We got three resources already. Uh, mind. See, if you get the big containers, it takes time for Mother Base to turn that into resources. Yeah. But you pick up those little containers, instantly usable. Added to your avatar. Yeah, kill the next one. They already know we're here. Supposedly, the valley up ahead is covered in mist almost year round. Fire objective areas beyond there. It's covered in mist? The bridge is out. She's killed two of the three. Fire. Bridge is collapsed. Looks like you'll have to go down through the valley. There's another one down. Dead, excuse me. Oh, she's killing people in the valley. Oh, I should have done the cardboard box down here. Let's see if there's anything good. <clears throat> Basically, go ahead and kill him. Fire. See that little red triangle? Disappear. Perfect. Guard post captured. <laughs> the whole outpost captured with a buddy. What is that? A dangerous animal? Uh, no, I think it's the first day. Nah. Is it a triangle or is it three dots? It's three dots. Oh, then it's uh, dangerous. Uh, dangerous animal. You're right. Cool. Okay, there's some. There's a lot more going on in here. Quiet. You can always move her to a different spot too, so she can keep going. Yeah. But you probably be alright. Hey, look at this. That decoy. Oh, wait, what's up there? Is it a fucking bear? What is it? Another decoy. It fucking scared me for a sec, dude. That's how we use this, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Great success. Perfect. Oh, come on. That was uh, less lethal. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. He's fine. Complete a mission task. What was that? One of six? Probably extract one of... It well, said one of six. Was there extract an African wild dog? Yeah, actually it was. It was the fourth mission task. How funny. Okay, so she's back here hanging out. Boom. We're going to send her. Oh, yeah, I mean, fuck it. Send her right in. Quiet. Scout the zone. She's going to make it in there before me. You can kind of see her run, right? Or she kind of, like, phases. Every so often, yeah, you might be able to see her, like, do the phase thing. Phase shift. What was that? Oh, 
up there now. Ooh. Diamond in the rough. Boom. We got Discord callers, Brian? I just realized that. Oh, yeah. Does someone want to get... You planning on jumping off the waterfall, boss? Go around. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going around for sure. You know, anyone want to get on the phone with us? The Nightbot is always dropping that Discord link. Vector has been waiting. Very Vector's patient. been very patient. What's up, Vector? Oh, I remember there's a fucking PT tape up here. Nah. How you doing? Nah. I was beginning to feel abandoned. No, no, no. Nah. Like like this game was. <laughs> I'm saying no like a British person. No. 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 Oh, no that's a Australian. No. 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 Uh, <laughs> well, I digress, Jones, here. Uh, how the hell What's are up, you? man? How you doing? Hey, I am I am here on behalf of Fingers, who sends all his fingers. I love Fingers. All we all do, yeah. He sends all of them? Uh, he, he sends all his fingers. We're going to take a break here pretty quick with some Fingers music. I, di I, di Ooh. I digress. I hope so. I want to get Fingers. Uh, but yeah, how's, how? I know... Uh, <laughs> I know the homie uh, and and me have we've been talking about how fun that Metal Gear Expo was, and I can't MGS Con was at L.A. Uh, it was at LAX. Yeah, were you, were you there? No, it was during our oh. tour. I was literally like driving the fucking tour bus through like Baltimore or some shit, so I couldn't go. But uh, yeah, I yeah. want to. He he uploaded his uh, his DJ his set. set. It's phenomenal. It is great, and everyone dancing in cosplay was like so fucking cool. Supply? Yeah. What did I yeah, do? Yeah, it was, uh, it was you know, that would have been a dream come true for me before right. this game came out. I think you ordered yeah. another supply drop. I accidentally ordered another supply drop. That's going to really fucking cost me some GMP. God damn it. And I, it's in the middle of, like, a mountain. I can't even access it again. See, it's up there. What a fucking dunce. Anyway, it happens. Uh, yeah, it can happen. What are you gonna do? To you? To me. Yeah, yeah, me, me and uh, Fingers, we, uh, we, we talk every so often. He does his best to keep me out of trouble, but, uh... <laughs> uh, you know, I, I realized no something, you know, like when it comes to Metal Gear lore, I am the final boss. Yes, you are. If you want to do anything in the Metal Gear space in terms of lore, you got to go through me. It's true. And, uh, the gatekeeper, as it would be. The, the, I was, I've been thinking about that because <laughs> you mentioned that. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> well, they've just I given mean, that they've given that term a bad name online. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm just misunderstood. Exactly. Well, I, I, like I mean, the Crypt Keeper. I think that there are good gatekeepers and bad gatekeepers, right? Like, just like anything. A, a keeper of the keys. A good gatekeeper makes sure that all people who come into a, a, a community understand why there are certain things that are helpful to being a part of that community. Like, it's, you know, it, like going into somebody's uh, house and learning the kind of ground rules of do I take my shoes off? Do I leave, you know... Uh, Do my, I interpret the boss's will in this yeah. way or in that way? It's no, it's right. knowing the rules and making sure everybody knows them. That's a good gatekeeper. A bad gatekeeper is somebody who doesn't want to, you know, share any of the fun special stuff. Yeah. Um, the door, the gates aren't closed. Yeah. They're just kept. Yeah. Hey, do you guys hear the PT music? No, I, I don't. It's I don't playing. Hear. It's currently playing on the cassette player here. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I think instead of gatekeeper, I would prefer the term bouncer. Can we can we switch it to bouncer? Yeah, because if people are being annoying like on Reddit, you just gotta bounce them sometimes. Well, I don't go on Reddit, you know, because they hate Smart. me on there because because you know, uh, and I have I I figured out why they hate me so much. You know, like people when when your entire life revolves around a fandom. And it's not exclusive to Metal Gear. It could be Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. You or, know, uh, when you yeah. when you challenge how people think, you're essentially like you're forcing them to challenge their worldview, and people don't want to do that. No, nope. because they think that you're denying their existence, and so like they they get mad at you because you're making them think, and you know it's it's, it's easier to just go with the status quo. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Less yeah, of so, a. But I mean, if you're gonna be the type of person, struggle. if you're on YouTube analyzing Metal Gear, you gotta know your shit. That's my only requirement. For sure, yeah, you can't be putting out false shit, information. I get very upset. Right. And when you're spreading, spreading false information like a lot of YouTubers are, and it I'm happens. not gonna name any names, but I should. It can happen. Um, 
Yeah, and, and so that's why people get upset because people they they have their head cannon and it's been like that for decades. Yeah. And then for someone like me to come along and say, "Hey, your head cannon, like here here are the facts." Here's why this is wrong. You know, and you shouldn't make right. an editorial like the, YouTube video about why yeah. this is this I'm way. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. it yeah. It's, it, it's, your, it's well, anybody's prerogative to have their own headcanon. That's, you know, we cannot deny anyone your own headcanon. And also, until they removed the feature, it was quite normal to have replies to YouTube videos. There, yeah. Video okay. reply. Oh, oh man. Yes. I missed that. No, they brought that back. They brought it back. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just found out about this recently. Because <laughs> you can you can tag a channel in a video, uh, and then and then the person who made the original video, they get a notification, and so then there's like a link to that original video. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I got, like I yeah, I, I, you know, something, ooh, remember the Final Fantasy set. video I did? I hear it, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes the radio plays, but I don't think there's But you don't hear it? Oh, you yeah. can't get it. Uh, sorry, Beck, what were you saying? The Resident Evil? I wouldn't say anything important. Nothing important, obviously. Like, it wasn't <laughs> anything that anybody would want to listen to. No, Seriously. I want to listen Thank to you. it. <laughs> no, rem remember the, the Final Fantasy videos that, yes. that uh, were on the channel? Yes, like, I that got that got a couple responses. Okay. You know, people did response videos to those, and uh, it wasn't pretty. No, not uh, not particularly with that subject matter. I don't think it would be. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I guess you know. Well, you know, I'm getting ready to cover because the the theme of this game. You know how all the Metal Gear games have a theme. You yeah. had Gene meme scene, and then four was like since, and I, the the theme for this game was race actually. Mm. Yes, it and, was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, nobody actually has really talked about that in in a real thought-provoking capacity, I feel. Yeah, so. interestingly enough, like, Skullface definitely had, like, racial genocide on the agenda. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. I mean, global but, I just genocide. feel it, it, you know, it's been mishandled. And you mentioned uh, your your cyberpunk character is based on Raiden, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought that was an interesting way to, like keep me because I had a I had I had trouble with slick finding like a voice for him and acting out in a way and now I feel like I have a real interesting knowledge base to play this new character uh, Rykov yeah well when I do when I eventually do a video about Raiden just make sure to not watch that video because <laughs> you're not gonna want to play that character anymore uh, well I, uh, I I do like the complex Characters uh, full of good and bad, so you know. Quite complex. Quite complex. The little child soldier he was. Little child Aryan soldier. He's half Japanese, <laughs> Brian. Yeah, the two axes of power. Oh might, my might well God! You're right. He's, in there he's German and Japanese. Mussolini. Fuck. Where was that said? I, uh, that, that he, came out of nowhere. Wasn't he half Japanese? Uh, and then like he was kind of like. Uh, treated like a no poorly I, as, as far as i know as far as and i and i admit as the lore keeper i admit like there's there's things that it's impossible to know everything so there are gaps in in my knowledge i i don't ever remember hearing him say that he was japanese from my understanding he's just thinking? a weeaboo what am i thinking of that maybe like Maybe-like. another character that snake was... said snake did say that he was japanese ah, you know what i'm thinking uh and then Naomi also what it did, is. but that turned out to be a lie. I know what it is. Okay, well, let's I'm hear thinking it. of Dakin, Wolverine's <laughs> half oh, son. Oh yeah, Dakin. Oh. Yeah, okay. He's uh, he was he was considered uh, uh, like a mutt, and he was raised by his Japanese mother in Madripoor uh, until he grew up and left. I'm I'm conflating my young fashionable males. My yeah, male no, Dokken means like like dog or like mutt, you know, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Dakin. It's Dokken. Dokken? That's Dokken. how it's pronounced? Oh fuck. Like I always man. always I was I've always been saying it wrong. Rockin' like Dock. Rockin' like Dokken. Dakin sounds anyone. like uh, somebody's name. It's I don't too know. Quiet John Dakin. <laughs> Kevin da Kevin Bacon. Oh, there we go. You know what I fucked up then? Cause I spent like fucking six SP on having the language of Japanese as well as English. That's a big fucking waste of SP. What no, well, fuck? okay, all right. Because I'm not going to use that in quickly. the game. Well, a lot of the Arasaka Corps speak Japanese. That might come in handy in, yeah. down the road. 
No, that makes sense. You know, and and you know the but thing about weeb. cyberpunk lore. It does make sense. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the thing about cyberpunk lore is that like the world was essentially taken over by Japan. So yeah, the big corpos. Know, it, but Mike Pondsmith, the creator of cyberpunk, just huge weeb. He was into anime and was like, totally. you know, what we should do, we should make an RPG about this. Yeah, about the like so, Cyber City '99 and the fucking bubblegum crisis type shit. You know, the good old days. Exactly. Yeah. Damn. What uh, what languages? are available in cyberpunk i mean you could pretty much even in the cyberpunk red app which i used this time instead of building a paper character like i did the first time the red app is free you, you can pay for like other premium content but i don't need that like everything core from the game and all the basic shit free and the character creator in app is great and then it can even roll your dice for you and it keeps track of all your stats and your health and if your armor's ablated and everything anyway what was the first fucking question i forgot vector <laughs> Well, I was just talking know, about there, red. Does the continent of Africa exist in that universe? Oh, I mean, uh, Night City is like where everything is played out. Um, but I know, like, you know, it's in some part of America where also, yeah, Japan still exists. So Africa must still exist right. as well. Well, I'm just wondering, like, what it, what would the benefit be, you know, for, like, there's Japanese, there's English, obviously. What other languages do oh, people speak? Oh, so that's speak what I was going to say. That give you a, an advantage. Like, you know, the pull-down list has, like, you know, Russian, Ukrainian, Japanese, English, you know, whatever. But you could delete that and put six skill points into... Afrikaans, or you huh. could, t and you could type that in, or whatever, or fucking. So Afrikaans wing is a language. Well, you can make anything. You can. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, sky's the limit. If your DM lets you, you could have fucking six uh, points in wingdings. You know, and you can delete. <laughs> you can delete the basic language stat, and make it say wingdings or Afrikaans or Dutch. You could type anything into the app. It's very. Well adaptable to 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 anything because my role as a tech i invent a lot of gear so i can like loot a piece of gear and give it a custom name and a description of what it does okay essentially like creating a new item into the game uh from as long as my dm approves you know so then does the dm have to incorporate that into the campaign uh, like Afrikaans or, or whatever language you pick? It's no, it's up to him, you know. That's why I just thought, like, man, I spent all these points learning Japanese. I could have put that into, like, different stats. Mm -hmm. Because I've yet to have to interpret Japanese, you yep. know, in the year that we've been playing. You know, everyone just spoke English or street slang. Well, I, I don't want to I don't want to ruin your campaign, so I won't get into why Raiden's a bad role model. <laughs> well, he's for, not a role model. He's just the bad... character I'm playing. Slick wasn't or a very a bad, good role uh, model a bad, either. Bad example of a character that you should you should base your player character. <laughs> oh God! As. Well, let's just let's just change the subject. Let's <laughs> just not even talk about it. <laughs> hey, you know what, Vec? Our mothers both taught us if we didn't have anything nice to say, make don't... sure they can hear you in the back of the room. <laughs> hey. that's a new one on that's, me. But yeah. yeah, I do like that. I do. Like that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, cause I'm very much, uh, I mean, the game of cyberpunk, like I was telling Brian, I mean, it, it, what I have learned is like, you are meant to be kept starving, kept broke, kept downtrodden. That's yes. the world. That's the world. The right. world sucks. It's a corporate hellscape fucking dystopian future where everyone is fucking dying and homeless. I mean, that is the world. It's fifth amendment's gone out the fucking window, right? Uh, but you know, um, uh, 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 I should say Fifth Amendment's got run amok, not gone out the window. But um, that being said, like, yeah, Raiden, I'm looking forward to go, I'm looking forward to going Jack the Ripper mode. There with, you go. With my cyber psychosis, when my humanity is so low because I've chromed my whole fucking body out and I'm slicing a fucking katana around at lightning speed, like, you know, let it rip. I I, I want to be the bad guy. So tell me. I want to get into it. Why is Raiden not such really? a Really? Are you sure? I, got, I don't know. I feel like, you know, you, you're going to like... Can you keep it brief? Your campaign's I mean... really going to be ultra downer mode, you know? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not necessarily a great guy. I'm, I'm coming into a gang that I've spent eight months with as one guy. 
I don't necessarily yeah. have to be nice to these guys. Like, I, I haven't made my mind up. Am I their friend or am I using this crew? I mean, right? Well, I, you know, I've mentioned that before. Like, the character that I play on YouTube is meant to be the foil. Like, it is the villain character, sure. to, you know, so that other people can become the protagonist of their own story. Nice. And, and, you know, that's why I antagonize those fanboys, you know. Like, one part of it is to get them to think critically, but another part of it is, you know, to double down on, on what they believe. And, and that's what Metal Gear is all about, you know, like yeah. fighting for what you believe in, right? Sure. Absolutely. So, Getting what's yours. Yeah, that's but, the but with Raiden, see, Raiden, what a lot of people forget, like it's a detail that gets skipped over or seen as, like, not a big deal. Oh, this is a but heavy cut he's scene. from... Yeah. Oh, oh, is there a cutscene? Am well, I Well, no, 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 no. You can talk over it. It's just we're getting to the uh, Wobakia treatment plant, and it's fucking gory. Oh, I hate this cutscene. Makes me makes me dry heave every time. Yeah, it's a it's a lot. But no, uh, please continue. Okay, so Raiden, he's from Liberia, which ah. is a country in the middle of the continent of Africa. Ah. And when you make a protagonist who looks like Raiden from a country <laughs> like Liberia. I see where, yes. Like you have to, you have to really dig and go out of your way to find somebody who looks like that. Yeah, in Liberia. And, and it wouldn't be a problem if that was an isolated incident, you know, if Kojimini had done that just one time, you know, whatever, I, lo I still love Metal Gear Rising, it's my favorite game in the series, you know, whatever. But yeah. the fact that there are several, like numerous characters throughout the Metal Gear series that that he's done that with characters from countries that are populated by predominantly brown-skinned people. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't like the term white. I prefer to call people Caucasian. So it's like Caucasian washing. It's Caucasian washing. Yeah. In a way, it's very interesting. I mean, uh, Hideo's not a white guy, but he's helping the colonial whitewashing right. of modern media i and that definitely that's never for me thought about that, that more way. than his you know his his hogging all the credit despite having zero talent more than you know any <laughs> anything else he's done like him caucasian washing yes a lot of the characters in 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 his games sniper wolf naomi naomi's supposed to be from india did you know that no Holy she shit! She says she said based on my skin tone, I I guessed that I was Indian at some point. That's it. <laughs> That's interesting. And that huh. pisses me the hell off. That's an interesting but translation. Especially because they do have characters in, and they're always American, that are uh, isn't that weird? Like Drebin. The oh yeah, there are there are black characters that are, are, are characters right. in the color. franchise. You know, Donald Anderson. But for sure. Um, but yeah, you're right. Fortune. I you know I never really put that. Yeah, I never put that together. That fucking Raiden's from Liberia, <laughs> but that's yeah. where he became a child soldier. But why is he a fucking right. blonde little white kid? Well, and it's, and and I put, I pointed this out to people oh. on YouTube, and people were like, "Well, not the you Sonys. know, Africa was colonized, and his parents were the colonizers, and they Saul was killed as colonizer, blah blah blah." Right? And I'm like, "No, shut up," because you still <laughs> you still had to go out of your way to create a blonde-haired, blue-eyed character from yes Liberia. Right? It's interesting. I you know I I wonder too. You know, it's like Kojima's making his American action movie, right? <laughs> Sure. Does he even think? But that's the thing. Like he's obviously not thinking too hard about it. So right. it's down the road a little problematic when this character becomes more of a mainstay. And it's not just like a throwaway backstory. This yeah. guy riding from two. It's like no, he's like a main protagonist. There's like he's got his own game now. And it's like wait, what's his origin? <laughs> right. In 2023, that is looked at way different than when did MGS2 come out? A one. 2001. And no one probably even fucking had this thought, no. right? But this is no, a valid I sure thought. No, I sure did I was like, hell yeah, cool ninja dude. He looks like freaking Titus from Final Fantasy X. <laughs> hell yeah. Well, and, Ryan, yeah, Ryan, and that's true. I shouldn't say no one had this thought, because obviously you did. Back. Well, I what, think Kojima had this no, thought I, as well. Decades I think, later, I did. Okay, yeah. I think Kojima purposefully, and, and, and I think you're right, Beck. I think I think exactly what you're describing is, is what was intended. They purposefully... We'll, we'll call it cast or created a character uh, yeah. that looked like that, and um, 
and I think it was partially because they they wanted them to be like offensive in several ways. Like, well, definitely no one yeah. liked Raiden at first because it was like, where the fuck is Snake? In, until four, no one liked Raiden. Until he <laughs> became the full fledged cool cyber ninja and lost all of his humanity, did he become anything cool to people? Which again shows a nut, maybe I not intended. There are exceptions. Though. There are exceptions. Because I think I've heard stories. I would, say I would be into that. Yeah. If it wasn't for the interview that that Kojimini and Yoji Shinkawa gave, uh. where somebody asked, like, where did Raiden come from? Yeah. And so they did a focus group with high school age girls. This yeah, is in the interview. This I've could heard be all this. made up, but but there is an interview. I yeah. don't know. I don't know why you would do a focus group with high school age girls if you know, That's... like, the majority of your money is going to come from males aged 18 to 34. But whatever. They did a focus group with high school age girls. <laughs> they want them and, to play. Yeah, and then the the fucking response they gave was, "I'm sick and tired of games with with uh, dirty old men. Those games are pointless." Mm -hmm. And so they created Raiden specifically. They they modeled him after the like the boy band. Yeah. Visual K style style performance that they had in Japan at the time. Yes. Which is why he looks so androgynous. Yeah. Thin, very so, slight, not a lot of muscle on his body. Right. He's yeah, not offensive. He's got, he's got childbearing hips. You know, he's he's, got he, he's easy on the eyes. Emma Emmerich comments on that, like, "Oh, he's easy on the eyes." He, she does. His yeah, hair does, might be yeah. fake, though. <laughs> it's, it's but it's like, you know, what you're saying. I mean, subconsciously, again, I do not, or, or I do not think that this was his intention. Yeah. But the the message that you're sending, whether you intended to or not, True. is that. We're trying to create a character that's appealing and looks visually interesting. We want him to be from Liberia, but he can't look like someone from Liberia. And your and focus that to group me is a problem. Yeah, yeah. And your focus group maybe be maybe shouldn't have overwritten the reality of that. Yeah. Of or if backstory. you want to make a character like Raiden, have him be from Eastern Europe. Where have him be tons from America. Of conflict zones. Sure. Have him be from America. There's tons of, of war zones all across the country. Why would you pick Liberia? What were you trying to do with that? Tie and in the, the child soldier, you know, the yeah. big boss. That I, yeah, I don't know. I think he, I think the, the, yeah. part of it was that he was meant to offend in, in, in all possible ways. Like, what, oh, like, like, I mean, you bring up the point Skull of him face. going to a focus group of teenage girls. Like, well, yeah, they are not the target demographic. So he chose the demographic for what one, what one could argue is the opposite of the target demographic of a militarized uh, right. a, 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 a game based on military espionage and like conspiracy and theories and sci-fi mumbo fun. jumbo. Yeah. Did they have that target group specifically to like, what is the most far away thing yes. from Solid Snake? So what do, you know, fuck, you know, teenage boys playing this game. What do teenage girls want to see? That would be the opposite of Solid Snake. And that's right. And then that's, that's a good point. That helps that's them really with their, good point. their whole like diffusion of like you don't even get to fucking play as Snake in this game, <laughs> but yeah. you do right. eventually kind of thing. Because because I've heard that that you know part of it was uh, also Three wanting uh, Solid Snake to be seen in the third person instead of which I which I actually enjoy. I actually like playing as Raiden because I got to it, it actually to me made. Snake feel like more of a badass, yeah, yeah because character. he was in that mentor role like Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, exactly. So it, it, to me, again, it, it felt more like they were trying to really get you to uh, feel dissonant from the main character. Like, and it might have just been like trying to get more of a varied audience and truly entice teenage girls to play that game. Yeah, or, or, I mean, who knows? Because I did hear stories yeah. from people who's like, uh, their their story was similar to like my brother would be playing FGS too, and I'd be like, who's this right? They became fans of the franchise through him. Get the fuck out of there! Yeah, get the fuck Man, out of there. I, That's that, the best that, line. I gotta I gotta meditate on that. You know, I just I'm wondering like, how do you apply that? Which I think is a great idea, but how do you apply that to Sniper Wolf? Who's supposed True. to be Kurdish? He's got a history. In Afghanistan. He's done yeah. it. Amanda and Chico from Peace Walker are, you know, they're they're Puerto Rican, but they look 
They Lily look like White. Camille. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't they don't look like they're from that place. Uh, I think I wonder yeah. if this comes down to a question of uh God, that flies still in it. Uh Yoji Shinkawa's designs over Kojima's directing, too. Yeah, and, and and they have they have interviews about that. You know, in the fight, Shinkawa will do several designs, and then oh. Kotakas is the one who has final say. I didn't know. Yeah, he has the final approval. Uh, I think yeah. Ultimately, it, that was perfect. masterful, by the way. Thank I've you. I've never done that technique. Nicely that is the done. that's the S rank technique, dude. You just push him into there. You yes. don't have to. You don't have to blow up a fucking towers up there. Wow. You don't have to stun him and, and jump in the tower or in the in the chopper before he comes. Anyway, uh, nice. you can still Fulton him, right? No, he's dead. Oh. Uh, well, he's 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 gone. He burned up. Essentially. I see. I see. But I should be able to call the chopper. Roger. But I mean, that is, uh, you know, again, I think that there is this um, this underlying thing that like what I, what I like about media now is that there is a far larger conscious decision to be uh, better about representing where people are from. Be yeah. And, and, and actually being accurate when it comes to that. But I think, uh, I think that when we look back at the time, even 10 years ago, uh, diversity was not important. Having representation was not important. I mean, you could not I at all. What they, what they fucking said, Sean Connery was 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 Russian in the Hunt for Red October or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Like like there's all of these uh, things that are like <laughs> there. Some comedian I forget is it uh, is it Dave Chappelle bit where he talks about Tom Cruise being the Last Samurai? Yeah. <laughs> and, no, right, no, I'm right, sorry. Right. Yeah. The he wrote on Chappelle's it Paul show. Mooney. It's Paul right. Mooney, and it's fucking shouts out, yes. big time shouts out, R.I.P. to Paul Mooney, one of the best to right. ever write. He wrote for George Carlin. He wrote for the Chappelle show as well. But yes. yeah, there's a Chappelle skit where Mooney's talking about Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai, Brad mm -hmm. Pitt in The Mexican, and uh -huh. it's like, well, yeah, what the fuck was Hollywood doing in 2010? I mean, you, just, you hire your you hire your money makers. That's that's all it is. Hey, and, and when your money maker, yeah. for fuck's sake, Al Pacino isn't Cuban. <laughs> like everybody right. remembers Al Pacino for the for one of his biggest roles in Scarface. And Are you gonna piece not of even that? fucking Cuban? Are you gonna scar like that? Eat a piece of pineapple. So so again, like I think that there is there is this like. I'm not saying it's okay or that it's excusable, but I think it's a it's a time capsule of how how media did used to be a Caucasian walk. Cauca Caucasian dominant. Can I yeah. can I blow your mind real quick? Blow me, blow me, baby. <laughs> Vasquez from Aliens. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. again, like she's white. Yeah, dude. I mean, there's there so was, many I finally examples. saw. I, it was like this year. I was watching a movie and that actress was in it, and I was like. Why do I know her? But it took so long for me to place it because, yeah, she's fucking Lily White. Yep. They just gave her a red bandana and we're like, hey, uh, talk like, uh, what was that wrestler? Nash. Kev talk yeah. like Kevin Nash. <laughs> no, right. it wasn't Nash. Who I was, wonder if if the, the, hey, Chico. If, the, if the Latin community yeah. like embraced her, gave her a pass Scott for that. Because I feel like she's really good representation for Hispanic people maybe not i don't know yeah. well i know um amongst my friends that are hispanic when the current like hey let's not put mario in a sombrero mm -hmm. pull that back from yeah. mario uh let's not like have this they i have heard from my friends people that are in my communities like yo we don't like that shit like it was fucking right. dope that Mario yeah. was going to wear a fucking sombrero on the cover of the game. Yeah. You guys pulled that because some white bitch at San Francisco University complained or something. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, like, al it's always some apologist and then they, that they've crossed the line instead of just letting the representation be there. And then the representation is, like, pulled now. It's yeah. like, what the fuck Damn. was offensive about Mario and a sombrero? Nothing. It's remember when they made, uh, speaking of Sean Connery, remember when they put him in Japanese face? For that one Bond movie? No. Oh. Did they like tape his fucking that? eyes and shit? That's terrible. He yeah, they, the no, they did. The they put him in makeup to make him look Japanese. Oh yeah. God. I mean, there was a lot of shit like that. I mean, that. hey, they used to run a fucking 
<laughs> bunch of wild horses off a cliff just to get the shot. You know what I, I mean? I mean, right? Like again, <laughs> in, the, in the Planet of the Apes. So, so all I'm saying is that a lot of times I think, um, you know, uh, life imitates art, and art imitates art as well. So when all you see in art is Caucasian type people. It's yeah. kind of common. Like, why? Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and we're so, in a different to, place now. And to your credit as well, Vector, you bring this up in your Final Fantasy video. Like, why is Japan making games where the main characters are Euro European? Like, all the time. Like, all of the Final Fantasy games. Uh, like, until, until 15, all the characters weren't meant to look Japanese. In 15, right. those characters did. And in 16, they are back to trying to make them kind of like a weird mix between. Yeah, they're obsessed with that fucking Viking and Eastern European. It's weird. Colony. Yeah, well, I mean, weird they, stuff. That, that makes a lot of sense. Jap Japan's always going to have that uh, affinity to the, the United Kingdom because of its occupation of, of Japan, right? So, like... Right. So there's always going to be that like well And their historical, you know, well, figures were like German fairy tales and Nordic. So let's let's take that even to a real Edas life example. Sagas, yeah. Filipinos buy bleached soap to lighten their skin because of their colonized um, influences. I didn't know that. They make fucking oh, skin they, lightening they, soap? Yeah, they if you go to Seafood City and go into the uh, into the um, whatever oh. it's called, but your your, your toiletry. I would be. Aisle. I don't need that. I become translucent. Dude, yeah, you, your shit would. Be, I mean, if you didn't have tattoos, Turn into you'd a fucking see straight ghost. through you. But um, you know, <laughs> I'm actually very bronzed right now. It's like first time. But I ever. mean, I'll speak. I'll speak as a non-white white person. Please. That's. For, I mean, I until I was 15 years old, I considered myself white. I'm Lebanese. That means I'm Middle Eastern, but that's considered white on ethnic demographic tests. So whenever I did my standardized test, when I filled out college applications, when I did any sort of uh, thing that asked for my ethnicity, I marked white. But I ain't fucking white. And if you tell my mom that, she'll go, no, you're white. Because wow. oh yeah, they were integrating yeah. to better, America, and they wanted you to be. It's better to just be white. So even yeah. like again, going Certainly back to the easier. Filipino thing, like hearing about that, going to a Rubia Barra concert, and hearing about how much pressure there is. Stay out of the sun. Don't become dark because then you'll then you could not be mistaken for Filipino anymore. Like you, you know, you want to be. You want to be seen more light skinned because that means you have more money, you have more. I mean, that's in. I don't want to speak for uh, other uh, people's experiences, but I've heard stories about that being an issue in not just the Filipino race, but all yeah. races. Yeah. The shade and the way you're treated within the community. Yeah. How dark you are, how light you are. It's, yeah. It's just a. Even within their communities, yeah. It's a, it, it's a human. Like, issue. It's a weird racial issue. It's a yeah. thing that just has existed and still exists today. I mean, I remember growing Whether up it be the soap that you're talking yeah. about or the paper bag test, which has been, you know, a thing <laughs> in African-American culture for ever. I yeah. don't know if you've ever heard of that, uh, Beck, or if I'm just Absolutely. speaking. Yeah, that, that, this is like a horrible, weird yeah. thing that just exists how, in culture. How Native Americans will have their pictures lightened with a, 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 for a long time, like they would, when they would take, like, I have friends who were in, you know, model communities and stuff like that, and they were like, yeah, I, would, I didn't realize it, but our, like, the Oh, you're was, getting your headshots? Yeah, they would lighten oh, their skin fuck, tone. bro. You know, because again, not always on purpose, but that's because a dirty... that's just been the standard to make it brighter, to make it cleaner, to bring it to you know, and well, it's like, and it speaks to what the you mean cultural. cleaner. What you yeah. mean by cleaner? Exactly. What you mean? Exactly. <laughs> Those are the words that are used in the industry. In that in that head shop, yeah. Photoshop uh, photographer's head. Right. That's where you get what they call systematic racism, where it's yeah. it's not even in the forefront of his mind that he's doing it. He's just this is how I make the headshot. This is what it should. I look make like. the most appealing headshot, yep. and I do this thing, and it's like, well, systematically. You're not helping. Yes. Because right. of societal Mission norms. Yeah. You're just going along with this is how I make my headshot. Exactly. Exactly. And then as a result, you see a million people who all look wow. exactly the same. Yeah. 
whether or not they are from the same homogenized society. It's all the same shit. And 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 yeah. So Vec, I I think that's actually oh, a really on board. really important kind of uh, thing with video games, which I'm so happy we are seeing now. You know, the fact yeah. that even in this game, you could create a character that looks a lot like you. Right. And and it's not just how it was in Metal Gear Two where he was trying to detach the character from themselves. Like, it, it, think about it on the on the Japanese side. He's trying to make him not a rugged badass. So yeah. what do girls think is cool? That's not what Riding. a macho kid is going to think is cool. On the Western front, that also is not what people want because they're going to want a badass-looking character with big muscles and grizzled and Chuck Norris. But instead, yeah. you get a character that you kind of have to... You're not... You're, you're you're forced to identify with even though you Stop don't want assigned. to and that's something that yeah. i think again maybe kojima isn't the best game designer in terms of actually sitting down and writing the code maybe he's not the best you know um uh, military tactician in terms of creating all of the different stuff but he knows what elements need to be in there yeah and or at least has some idea because he can't get this, this well, let's far. just say he's competent at he's, it you know what yes he's not competent be- He's, but, he knows how to make a video game. But I, think, I mean, speak, it's, speak it's, for yourself. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, let's just we, well, I, I we can't deny the concepts. sales. We can't right. deny the fact that like even his uh, you know, Death Stranding is now being pushed to the to fucking, the fucking phone. It was on MacBooks last <laughs> Apple announcement, right? It was like Death Stranding's coming to the new MacBook. That's fucking that. weird. And then this iPhone announcement last week. Or this week, it's yeah. like, yeah, you can play Death Stranding on your fucking phone, as well as Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil Four remake. I what I, the fuck? I would have loved that. Sync dude, a PS Five controller to your Apple you can. iPhone you and can. play Death Stranding. You fucking can because Weird. it has a Bluetooth connection. I'll quote the very beloved David Lynch and say that I it's, I find it such a sadness if you <laughs> watch a fucking movie or a game on your and you think you've experienced it, and you're cheated. Oh and you think God. you experienced it on your fucking telephone. <laughs> you've been real. cheated. Get real. So, so hey, <clears throat> whoa, what the hell was that? Uh, I don't, it's Wolbachia. Fox Knight. Do you have the Wolbachia? Sudden. No, I got Fox Knight for sure. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I, I want to give other people a chance to call in if there's time. I don't know if there will be, but... Um, there will. You know, we'll I do lightning say, round. You know, I'm really glad that I was able to spark this conversation, you know, because, no, that, that you know, what I was going to talk about was the tactical advantages that engravings give you. So I'm glad <laughs> I didn't get into that. It's a little more grip on the slide. So, you, right. you know, if your hands are sweaty, they, yeah, it's, it's true. Well, I mean, right. It shows that uh, it, it's another form of function where, it, again, like as cool as shit could look, is it fucking functional? And if it does what it's meant to do, it Please like then mission. it is functional. Hey, if baby. it's just ornate, sometimes it's all for show. Oh, what have I done? I didn't I didn't think we were gonna get this deep into it. Hey man, I can find depth in anything. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Give me an inch, I'll take the mob. I love your point of view, Vec. I uh I do love the conversation that we got into today, and I hope it sparked some thought in our viewers and the audience itself. So yeah, man, always a pleasure. Yeah. to chat about this stuff. Um, For sure. Thank you uh, again, well, Good man. luck with the game. You guys are finishing it tonight, right? <laughs> oh, God. I think we're going to be playing Apparently deep into October, bro. Me too. Hey, good talking to you again, take man. Care, Shouts right, out. Take care. We're going to hit that fingers track. I'm going to get a refill of coffee. I'm going to piss. I'm going to kill this fly. We're not done yet. Don't go anywhere. Oh, yeah.
told that coffee maker out there to make me a cup of coffee, and it still hasn't done it. You gotta warm it up. I mean, I know. It shut off on, uh... Time delay. Or, fucking, uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever right. it's called. Well, we're gonna get to the coffee. I'm, it's brewing now. Um, great call. Uh, great night for fucking Mega64. You know what I'm saying? We got the D-Dog. Oh, yeah. We got that man on fire. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, we don't have it open because of all the failures to launch. Or oh, we do we have it open. Can you go to Mega64's Twitter? Is, yeah. that, is that already open? It's over here. It was open. But we are going to get that again because I want to run down what's available. What's the 64-hour special this week? Well, we didn't have a podcast last week because of 64X. So, all of the 64X items are still up at shop.mega64.com you can check those out right now because let me tell you the things that were on sale on saturday they sold out we put them up for pre-orders so everyone gets a chance to get in on the next batch we make there you go here they are got a lot of options listen to that sounds like michael jackson ow Oh yeah, you got Lots. backpacks, you got shirts, you got track suits, you got HDMI cable, event map. That HDMI cable is necessary. It's a great 8K gold-plated, Brian. Is it now? Wow. Gold-plated. <laughs> you got uh, so much and more. Let's see what else. Mm. Oh yeah, we did the iPhone thing. I talked about that. That's a little obnoxious. Yeah. We're just gonna mute that synthesizer. The ow. The ow. It's a little. It's a lot. Uh, check out the glasses. Look Those are that. good old. Oh Look God, at... Meg killed it with the 1975. Yeah. Artwork here. Well, that was Meg's grandpa. Uh, yes, that's true. She found her grandfather's. Yeah. I love this photo from our, our San Diego show. I thought it was a good shot of me. I'm like, don't hit the equipment. He's got the lightsaber. Yeah, he's, he fucking killed it. And just like the original trilogy, you know, when you turn that lightsaber towards the camera, it's just like a white post. Remember yeah. Obi-Wan does that in the fight? It's true. It's perfect. It's perfect how that works out. <laughs> but I did like someone snap that. What else is Mega64 cooking? I'm clicking on the wrong X. It's this X. <laughs> I'm not even on Twitter. I'm on X. I'm never going to call it the right fucking thing. Oh, I'm always going to call it Twitter. Beautiful marquee. Again, the full show, six plus hours, is up at YouTube. You can find uh, our collections at shop.mega64.com, as well as all the clips being uploaded separately on the archives channel. Uh, Brian, there's a lot to go off of, but the most important thing is his. The collections over at shop.mega64.com. You just click on 64X, boom, and it takes you right there. We got the track suits. Beautiful. We got pants only. I don't want the jacket. I just want the pants. We got you, baby. Damn. All of it. All of and it. all our regular items, all at shop.mega64.com. Thank you, Brian. Damn right. Boom. Ass cheeks. My ass cheeks is whoa the fuck out. You don't let that beat keep playing. We've got more in the Discord. Let's do some lightning rounds. Let's try to clear the... Yes. Answer all any calls we can. I'm just going to jump into another mission. Are you okay with that? Yeah, go for it. Fuck, why not? The Accept war economy. Accepted. Yo, yo. What's up? Yo, yo. You doing, Monster Hunter? I'm doing great. I just wanted to say a couple things. Say them. Check out, check out Monster Hunter now on the App Store. Okay, which one? I played G Generation G or some shit on DS and the Wii U, and I think that was it's, the last. What it is is Pokemon Go, but Monster Hunter. It What's just this came new out one? Today. Oh, it just came out today. I think it's pretty fun. All right. Well, I like I, the Palicos. I'm not trying to sell it on anyone. You do get the Palicos. You have a feline in the first minute. You oh, know. That's, I think it's, I, it's important. Cool. Important for me. Uh, and there's actual, it's tap combat, but I thought it's cool. Okay. Brian, you're here and, first. Uh, right. I, I just like want to, I'm going to be an advocate for Monster Hunter. Always will be. Well, it's, uh, you're, and you're then, named after it. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
That's, yeah, it's on my legal paper. Shit. It only makes sense. <laughs> now, um, are you a uh, a fan of the entire franchise? Like, you play every Monster Hunter? Because quite a few Monster Hunters... I mean, Capcom really puts a lot of those out. Yeah, they oh, do. Oh, for sure. I'll say. It's I've not played, every year. Uh, it's like every half a year, it seems. I don't know. <laughs> I played Rise and World. Okay. Brian, yeah. you ever play one? You ever uh, stream a Monster a Hunter? A long time ago. I remember when you guys were all talking about... We, we all got the one that was on the 3DS and the Wii U, and you could cross save. That was fucking sick. I loved that one. That was the one I played the most. Wasn't there a PSP one? I played guys... the PSP one before that. That was, that was like, eh, I, you know. I tried that was my one, first but I one. didn't get into it. Yeah, I tried them all, but I've never beaten all of them. <laughs> I should I say. I think World is I, probably a, the a most accessible. good one to get into. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Spreading the world then, of Monster Hunter. Oh, for sure. I also wanted to spin that fucking wheel. Let's spin the wheel, baby. Okay. Hell yeah. Here we go. We're going to get a big timpani running. That's running. preemptive. That's preemptive. Here's the timpani for you. I'm going to lock this in for Monster Hunter Monsanto. Close enough. Well, if it's not Monsanto, I mean, I thought we were genetically engineering weapons grade uh, <laughs> plutonium here. Oh, oh it's Monsanto. Oh, true. Oh, okay. Monster Hunter, Monto. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh, actually, I forgot there's one more thing. Well, oh shit. Before the spin? You better get to it. Oh, I got VIP tickets for the show in Phoenix. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Tell what it's uh, I didn't, but someone got them for uh, my birthday, but... You're gonna get... Yeah. You're gonna get a bunch of cool shit at that VIP. You get Hell early yeah. access. You get... Fuck Kiss yeah. on the lips. Whoa, uh, whoa. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot of shit. It's, Excuse it's definitely me? worth it. Who? Kiss on the lips? I wasn't told. Rocco! Uh, hey! That's what the email said, all right? I don't know hey. what to tell you. Hey! Rocco! You left. Yeah, don't, no one told me about a kiss on the lips. Yeah, Monsanto here is saying fucking kiss on the, <laughs> kiss on the lips. I might, you know what? what we're going to talk. Yeah, Rocco's, uh, he's locked himself in the editing room right now. So he's, I don't know. Tied up, but kiss on the lips. Ooh, meow. Sounds enticing. All right, let's get back. Right. Let's get back down to it. Let me roll your timpani again, Monster. Here it comes. Now I screwed up the camera earlier. I don't know if you could tell. Chopped and screwed. It's already on my favorite. You do oh. love remixes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Horn swoggle. I fucking did it. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Shuffle songs. This is an old favorite, Brian. Oh, okay. I shuffle some songs on my phone's playlist. Oh. And uh, we're gonna see just uh, what we get. Here we go. For you, Monso. <clears throat> now, I've got some, copyright. I had some current songs loaded up because I'm going to help Sean with his uh, next record club. That's a little inside. Oh, a lot cool. coming up for me. I'm going to be on a new record club. I'm going to be uh, streaming next Monday. Speaking of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh. I'm going to be on the Kimono Friend Zone playing Revengeance with our dear friend Serb. Anime Serbia is having me on next Monday. Love Serb. And then, like, a couple weeks after that, Ruby's going to have me on her podcast. You know Ruby from the GCP. Oh, we know what? Ruby. Oh, we know Ruby. Don't walk away So, uh, a lot coming up, but you. here we go. You get a right now, job playlists. Yeah. No, we just go songs, right? This is how we do it. Yeah. Sh uh, uh, hit shuff. We're going to hit shuff. We're going to take off the background music. We're going to put the actual daily driver iPhone on shuff. Let's see. I'm going to turn the volume up a little more. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Shuff. Ready? Let's see what plays. Oh, now we can only get a few seconds of it before copyright claims, which I got two of last week uh. because I played Dancing with Tears in My Eyes and that Kaja Goo Goo song. Uh. And then I, I, I don't oh, know well, why. I was fine. like, it's in game, but of course it copyrighted me. It's Fuck it. fine. Okay. So that was what the fuck? honestly... 
a Velvet Underground song that I'm not familiar with off, off that album with the banana or whatever. There she goes again. What What's next? Everyone knows this. Probably enough to get copyrighted right there, but huh. that's the Aquabats fight song. You're familiar oh, with that one. Very nice. James. No, who are we talking to? Monso. Monso. Monster Hunter. Manga place. Are you a fan Close of the enough. fight song? No? Maybe uh, next time. I'm not familiar with the Aquabats. Okay, next one. Morning Again. This is a hardcore band from Canada, I think. Not My Birth, live. A lot of feedback before we got to run in there. What's this? Another live. Iron Maiden? Case in point. Iron Maiden, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Oh, I, I, I forgot that that's how he opens. A bird shits on Here's you. a song about what not to do if a bird shits on you. <laughs> all right, all right. Of course. Oh, fuck. You want to fucking buy a diamond for your wife? Or you want to walk her down the aisle? You want to do it in Canon D. Dur. This is from the Ava soundtrack. Uh, sheer Sagasu. Uh, uh, what else we got? What else we got? I got to listen to that vinyl, dude. Shit. Trans by Gorillaz. I like Gorillaz. Let's good. have some fun. This beat, beat is sick. I want to take it ride on you. And a disco stick. Disco you sticks. both know it, folks. That's the end of it. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Game, play a love game. We've and got remember, Lady Gaga. Folks, one more? You get one the more? VIP ticket, free okay, one kiss. more. Millions of dead cops. MDC pay to come along. All right, that's the end of it. Hell yeah, dude. Hey. Thank you so much again, Monso. Everyone go yeah, play pleasure. that new Monster Hunter tap. Hey. It's Monster worth it. Hunter now. Monster Check it Hunter out. You now. might like it. Don't wait till later. It's a game. You can play it. Thank you, Monster. Hey, listen. I'm not going to give grandiose ideas to anyone. I'm giving <laughs> you... The, I keep it real. I'm keep just real like Vector. To the Matrix with you. See you next week. Excellent call. All right. Let's keep the lightning round going. Right. I thought there was another name in there. I'm James Bath. What's up? I'm still going to jump in here. James Bath, we're getting to the end of the show. We're looking for lightning round questions. What's up, James? Yeah, yeah. Uh, WWE coming to my hometown this weekend, and I want to know nice. uh, from you guys who are your current favorite WWE wrestler. Ooh, current favorite WWE. Interestingly enough, Brian and I, bigger AEW fans than. W I'm gonna kill this fucking fly, Brian. You see him? You see him on the monitor? Kill him. God, as wait, that motherfucker. He la He he hit and landed back there. Uh, Rhea Ripley? I don't know. Oh, yes, Mommy. I gotta go, Rhea. I'm, I'm a, I certainly see career. the most social media posts about... I was gonna say Asuka, honestly. But, I mean, the hottest... I don't care about LA Knight. I don't know what any of the fucking bloodline bullshit is. Uh, I gotta say Ray Ripley, yeah. Ray Ripley, man. I mean, what's going on with the... Uh, 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 like, I don't know anyone in the men's division. I only know, like, Asuka, Rhea, and... The you know, Miz. The Miz is, is he still yeah. kicking? Yeah. Damn. You got Sami Zayn. You got Kevin Owens. You got a bunch of. You got a lot of really good wrestlers, but uh, I don't know. The only ones that. Um, I know Nia Jax is back. Yeah. No one's real fucking happy about that. Give a shit about that. Uh, who's uh, whose daughter is that? Isn't that? Isn't she related uh, to a, the an cousin wrestler? of The Rock or something? Oh, okay, that's where it is. She's related to The Rock. Yeah, but how the fuck did she come back? Uh, She's from San Diego. That's all I know. That's wild. Yeah. I had no I fucking idea. I didn't now, know she was actually from Australia. What the fuck? Now, who's your favorite WWE superstar, as they quite aptly I'm put. honestly right there with you, with, uh, with Rhea Ripley. Yeah. I am a big LA Knight fan. I am on the LA Knight bandwagon. Um, I like Knight, Gunther. But... Gunther's a great... Hey, the Gunther yeah, matches cool. that I've seen. Gunther rules. Gunther's meant to be a milk toast, boring gimmick character. But he is not. But his fucking wrestling is like the best in the company. He's like he's so, so technical and he's so good. He's so good. Um, I'll say I don't give a shit about what what are the Jake Pauls or the fucking uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know any of those kind of pop ups. But uh, but yeah, Ray Ripley's hard to ignore. 
right now. Uh, I'm even curious seeing what they do with Dominic. I don't necessarily, you know, follow either of them, Rhea or Dominic's storylines. But it seems like they're doing some interesting shit. Yeah. Um, Asuka's just always been cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, Dominic's got yeah. the next 20 years of his life, so he's got plenty plenty of time to do sure. more and more. And they're they're incredible already. So, yeah. It's it's cool. Yeah, Dom, and I just yeah. love all the jokes about Rey Mysterio beating his kids now. It's fucking <laughs> it's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. It's cool though. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of fun stuff, but yeah, with the uh, WWE I don't know, like Roman Reigns character is pretty cool honestly. What yeah. the, what they built the See, I haven't followed is I haven't cool. followed any of the main story stuff like with Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns and the Bloodline and Paul Heyman. Yeah. Like I I I don't know any of what that is. Um, it's, because honestly, I'm not watching the product. It's pretty cool. It's hard to avoid Ray Ripley's really... ass on my fucking Instagram and my <laughs> Twitter reels, though. Right? You know, it's just there. Boom! It's yeah, there. I do really like the Bloodline story. I think okay. it's really interesting. Yeah. I think they've actually had a pretty cool story going on for the last few years, and they've done a really good job of building characters, not just around or not just in the bloodline but around the bloodline and uh like with the same as aim betrayal and all that stuff yeah i kind of know a little bit i kind of know a little about how that went down but yeah uh yeah man i mean AE dubs though fuck we got jack perry getting into fights with cm punk backstage oh yeah we got uh you know kenny omega drinking fucking drinks weird Great man, AEW <laughs> is uh, it's pretty fun. And we got, dude, Chris yeah. Statlander, fucking. Uh, yeah. there, there's some good women's division. There's some shitty matches lately. I will say. They fucking yeah. cut. Dude, I love watching that AEW, horrible Brett yeah. Baker. <laughs> they 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 fucked up a uh, Road to Valhalla. I will say Jade Cargill never fucked up the Road to Val or whatever. What you call it, Jaded? Yeah. But man. Tia Valkyrie and Britt Baker fucked up so bad. A road to Valhalla, and then like the production cuts to the sign in the audience that says "Book the women's division better." Oh yeah. What? Guys. Oh. Mother base. I'm sorry. This is breaking news. James, can you stay with us while we return to Mother Base? There's been an emergency mission. Do what you gotta do, man. We've been attacked hey. by an enemy PMC. How did they know where we were? I'm heading right now with Quiet to defend Mother Base at all costs. We go live back to the combat strut where the battle is currently taking place. No, Quiet stays home. I'm on my own. Oh, you... You fucked with the raw. I wish. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I've been praying someone would come knocking on my door. Get ready, all these S rank soldiers I got, James. They're gonna fuck shit up. Uh, anyway, is uh, is there anything else we're supposed to be in the lightning round? Is there anything else before we let you go? Uh, perhaps wrestling related or not? Um, you know, I think that's all I have for you guys tonight. I would love to be back to the call. Thank you for taking the time to watch. We nailed it. Well, I will say, sure do love you. We'll talk to you next time, James. Oh. Yeah. Please do, yeah. Thank you for picking up tickets. Cool. We'll see you there. What do you say, Denver? Uh, I can't remember. That, that altitude, dude, you're way high, and they, they're all about the reefer there, too. They're all getting high in Den Denver's wild. I don't think we're even playing Denver, so. I'm getting horny now, just thinking about it. Makes sense. What am I talking about? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm having flashbacks, you know. Eliminate the commander. This is a rogue commander, and I believe he was left. Is he from another PMC, or is he from MSF, and he's returned to, to kind of have some revenge? And we get lower down on a lower platform. This is so fucking cool. This is just like infiltrating an FOB. Exactly. This is uh, this is where it came from. For sure. Where are my men? Are they shooting at my fucking Pequod? How dare they? This is my base, motherfucker. Analysis. So the mode is just to get into your... Who's fucking firing? Do not. I repeat. Do not fire on me. I remember this mission. This is, a, this is pretty cool. 
Who are these guys? Where are they from? Look at their... They don't have tags. What's it say on his arm? This guy's a fucking... He's some kind of... Alternate PMC? Some kind of competition? Well, you're coming... <laughs> you're coming home with me. Even though we're already at home. Where do you fold them to? <laughs> home? Just another part of this base? Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Okay, we're flush with people. So, there's many ways to do this, right? I think the best way is we want to get our ass from the R&D platform to the command platform and overtake uh, the central node, right? We want to go back. Who saw? He saw? Now he's going to see. One for you and one for you. Come on, that should have hit. We could always throw on our stealth camo and just run our asses back, which I think I'll do while I'm crossing the strut. Because then I think we capture everyone all at once. If I get into the main strut, right over there. Uh, 312, that's definitely yeah, like- Yeah, I feel like you got a- Material, oh, it's a hostage situation. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, what the fuck? Bink. Right between the eyes. Betwixt the eyes. Right betwixt them. <laughs> uh, this is all my stuff. Yeah, special chick. So uh, no, no sense in stealing my own containers. Right. Okay, I've scouted someone far ahead here. Yeah, get out your fucking flashlight. Perfect. Oh, I remember this mission. Hey, buddy. Put your hand down. I got ya. Is he coming up yet? Not yet. Let's get these guys fast. One. Don't let him come up. Or is he still below? He's coming too. Right in the eyeball. That would hurt, man. Yeah. A dart right through the balaclava. Oh, fucking hostages. Guys, I can't believe they got the drop on you. I can't, maybe you, you look. Oh, I would throw them off the struts. Oh, really? Teach them a lesson. Teach them a fucking lesson. <laughs> Come on, you're free. Now fight. One for you. Look over there. One for you. Are you guys all too hurt to fucking get up or what? Just gotta send you up. Ah, uh, boss. Uh, I couldn't even defend the platform. Yeah, you're right. These guys should be executed. Maybe I won't do it in front of the audience, you know, the yeah. human rights violation. We'll, <laughs> we'll have Venom Snake kill them off screen. I love the design of these because they look kind of like the M the wandering MSF. Oh, they are, dude. Wait, look at the look at the patch. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that. Analysis complete. Oh, it does kind of have that MSF. They are yeah. almost the, like, wandering MSF guys. Almost, because look at the back one. Oh, wait, 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 how do I zoom? Nope, that's bro. This poor guy is getting tossed all around. Pick his ass up again. Oh, no. It's funny how it happens. Pick him up. We want him. We need him. Now let's look here. Maybe it's the MSF logo. Maybe it's like just a generic circle. I don't know. Who that? Oh, over there I see flashlight. And 100%. Let's get him. This guy's coming. He's gonna see that. This guy's about to go. Let's go up high. Get the high ground. 
Oh wait, you don't want your gun back? Uh, my gun? You swapped out your, uh... Fuck, for that. real? Oh, I did. Alright, I'll do that. If you can. CPF. Two in the butt. Analysis there he goes. The diamond dog gun. I love that the logo is above your primary weapons, you know? Okay, we're getting a bunch of good soldiers. At least they're trained in takeovers. Hello. Yeah, you really didn't fucking see me, did you? The boss is here. One. Oh, I remember. One. Human shield. The transfer to this Fuck. part was always hard. Oh, I got him! I ran out of the goddamn... I ran out of the, uh... <laughs> the the sub uh, la, la, la. suppressor. So I thought, oh fuck, this next shot's gonna wake him up, but uh, that wasn't the case because the missed shot finally put his ass to sleep. Okay, what's the next mission objective? Roger that. There isn't one. Yeah, what is the mission objective? Eliminate the enemy, uh, la, 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 enemy commander. Yeah, so you just gotta find the commander who's probably on the main strut. He's of, probably on the main strut. Uh, this platform. Or, um, so we're going the right direction. Main platform of this strut. Delta 3, we checked the area and found nothing. Calling off the search. Over. This is CP, All right, well, all right, time for stealth because we are quite out of suppressed rounds with the hush puppy he's up here yeah. is what we're thinking that's that red 88 yep. why because i didn't scan that guy i love this game because you could like climb up the fucking pipes and shit both of you two get on the fucking ground and kill him kill him no, while they're no he's fucking putting his hands down who else saw him? No. Who fucking saw it? It was, it was the guy putting the his guy hands down. Killed. He's put his fucking hands down. You want that to happen to you, bud? Huh? Huh? You hear me? Oh, I went through him. Come here. Talk. Put you in the shower. Can I put him in the shower? I don't know. I never Come on, tried. let's take a shower before. Spit it out. Specialist. Okay, we're gonna knock you out. Ooh, zero percent. What's he under? Oh fuck, that was dumb. Extraction failed. Oh shit, there's a guy right above us. All right, put him out here. Let's get him home. Yeah, they see some shit. I'm gonna get out of here because they're kinda come investigate. And I'll go for kneecapping if I need to with the M4. I've got another uh, use of the stealth. So I could pop that and just run to the top of this fucking thing in a sec. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, too late, you're gonna die. Saw too much. <laughs> you gotta crack a couple eggs, Brian. You make an omelet. Oh, right? that's true. Wait, you don't want to blow up your own shit. Oh shit, that's my shit. You can turn it off. Oh fuck. Oops. You? Can I get you? No, zero percent. Pick him up. He's dead or no? Can't remember. Did I shoot this guy? Oh fuck! Throw him at that guy. Drop him on his fucking head. <laughs> the shit hit the fan. Where are they? Oh, they're below. There they are. Oh fuck. Where's that coming from? Let's go with the stealth. Like I said, I would do earlier. Okay. 
I think we might be. No, that's not good. Ah! That's very not good. All right, we made it. Uh, almost all the way in. Does it start me on the second tr strut? Maybe it checkpoints me there. Oh, we completed some platforms. Lucky us. Well, there you go. Well, there we go. Let's see. Please, please checkpoint me at the second strut. Episode 20 voices is done. Mission 20. No, it's starting us back at Mission 21, the war economy. All right. Well, that's it for this stream, guys. We're going to uh, uh, come back next week. I'm sure with this same approach to level 21, the war economy, and then we'll be called back to Mother Base to defend. Or is that just random and, like, we, we won't get that now? What? I think I failed it and it's just over. No. I, feel like, I don't know. I mean, it might be the intro. Will it, will it do it in, uh, in, immediately again? It, yeah, it was like when you landed. It was like as soon as I fucking landed. Yeah, I feel like that's the point of 21 is to make you realize that your mother base could be attacked. But you can actually do this mission, so maybe now it's like not, we're not re-triggering that same event. Like, you're going to do mission 21 now. I don't know. We'll find out in about three, two, one. Boom. Be careful down there, boss. And quiet drops in right behind me. What's up, girl? Let's see if we get the call. Who you got? Can I zoom in on that? No, this is as far as I got. Oh, there's one. Poo! That got him. Yeah, go ahead and kill. Fire. Nice. So we're having her develop the guilty butterfly now, the one that's suppressed with trank rounds. Oh, good. But she doesn't have it yet. I think we just killed the two people on this base, though. What the fuck? Oh, she just, she just ran away. No, dude, that was it. Like, we, yeah, we, we failed that, that mission. Yeah. So next week we come back, boom, onto the war economy. Now, maybe, like, um, you know. The emergency mission will happen again down the yeah. road. It happened a few times, I feel like. Maybe. I can't really remember. But definitely, like, we extracted some guys. Yeah. It gave me the guys I extracted. Yeah. It just, we didn't win. We didn't defeat the commander. Because I got cocky and I ran up there into the fucking heat of the battle. But uh, at this Please point, damn, that's all just combat deployment. Uh, we're not going to jump all the way into Mission 21 right now. So what we're going to do for tonight... Return to the AAC. For next week, we will conclude Mission 21, the war economy. As you've seen, we've been dumped at the Nova Braga Air Force Base. I wonder what we're going to do here. Probably steal some heavy equipment. My favorite. I love that. Uh, welcome... Welcome Brian to the show, folks. <laughs> He's been here for two and a half hours already. That's me. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy. It's fucking more like three, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because we had a false start. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, peace and love, peace and love. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. The room is all purple. Uh, let's change that. False start, illegal RAM formation, restart PC. Sure do love you. We'll see you next time with uh, RAM upgrade i am afraid to say Woo! as well say. as many more features uh mission 21 gets off and we go right to the very favorite band the children of the plague did your nuts drop yet i care very much about the audience do you care about the audience I, I care, care very, very much, much about, about the audience. audience. All right. See you guys you next week. You said yesterday, in, you were Forgot. great with fans, and you said to one kid, <laughs> I know it. you said, how old are you? And the kid said, 12. 12? Oh, 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 o
12 year old kid. What? That's uh, known as uh, a uh, ball. Right? Did you not drop yet? Did you not what? drop yet? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Thank <laughs> you.